welcome. We'd like to welcome you to another edition of Exposure is Everything, brought to you by Total Package Sports. We'd like to welcome you, and today, legendary. First, I want to thank a good friend of mine. I'm not going to get on about what happened last time. I'm just going to go from right here. <laughs> My man, Trevor Ruffin. Thank you for coming. Appreciate you, bro. Thanks for having me, brother. And on this side right here, the original Chibs. They keep calling me Chibs, but it's the original Chibs. Cam Mack. Right, sir. My man, listen. We're going to talk basketball. We're going to talk life. We're going to talk good decisions, bad decisions, things that happen in their life as much as they choose to talk about. But I really want to get into some of that and hopefully they really give you the knowledge and information and the, the true purpose of me bringing these two guys together <clears throat> is to really uh, change, the, change the conversation and get people to truly understand the history of Buffalo basketball and the importance of developing the talent and truly understanding where you came from so we can move forward. So enough about that. I'd like to welcome you and we're going to get started. Now, we're going to open up with some 53. Mm -mm. Hmm. I went to DC, but we're going to open up with some 53. <laughs> Tell me, give me some 53 conversation. Where did y'all meet at? Did y'all meet at 53 or before 53? Who going to start? Uh, we both can start. Uh, Kev, you can start, but not since I'm talking to my friend. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, it's, it's no origin. I don't remember not knowing this guy. Like, we Come were on. just... Give me that. Come on. I was... My, when, by the time I got my consciousness and my awareness, he was there already. On the wing. <laughs> on the wing. Like, I really don't remember not knowing it. When we met? The Rugs. The Rugs. Miss Bowder class, 105. Y'all come from 3K, Kenny guy? 74, early push. No! Crazy. I don't remember not knowing this guy. <laughs> I didn't go back that far. So y'all both went to video from K through 8? From all the way through. That's where it started. No! No, you keep saying K. You're forgetting early push. Yeah. What they call pre K now. Right. The early push. Early push. Who was early push teacher? You remember your early push? You don't know it. I don't know. I'm like, don't know. Because Miss Bowden was kindergarten for sure. I can't remember. Who was the early push? No. Take your time. We'll come back to that one. Yeah, that's that's. that's <laughs> I bet that. you don't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, this one off. He's the coach. <laughs> the early push teacher. Who what was her name? Early at? push teacher. My goodness, it was in the annex. I remember the classroom. <laughs> That was right when we came down the steps right to the right, right before the green door, but I can't remember her name. Now, I'm going to give you where I met y'all at. Right. I was in seventh. Y'all was in eighth. Public school, Catholic school, the championship. And Turner Care. That was my introduction to that bomb squad at 53. Y'all did beat us, because that's the only game we lost all year. And we played in three leagues that year. I had a crew too. We played in we played in the Catholic School League. We played in the league at Hennepin, which was 72. That was Bama and them. Mm -hmm. That's where I met all of them at. Mm -hmm. And we played in, in uh the, not the Hennepin, the league in um so, Batavia was called. At, See, hold on, y'all played a lot of basketball. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. seven, yeah, eight seven eight eight grade. Six, seven, eight. We Mr. Macy. Just, hey, we were Mr. subjected to what? Was it 10 games or 10 eight games? Was we played six, six seven, eight, eight grade. Eight. I played in three I leagues think, in grammar school. I think last school. year was the year that we got, you kind of branched out. That's when we won the tournament. That's how we got to the Turner tournament yeah. and all that. And played no, we years. played the St. Joe's tournament that same. We didn't play the Nuggets. We played the Batavia tournament. Notre Dame of Batavia was the other league. Notre Dame of Batavia. Yeah, had a bunch of <laughs> we made it work. <laughs> yeah, we made it work. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I got to get this one. I was a fourth regular. I got a DEC. 77. Wow. This is the conversation me and my mother had. This cost $300 a month. I bet I have to come up here. Don't play. <laughs> I bet I have to come hey, up here. Hey, don't real. worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Hey, I, you ain't got to worry about that at all. Yo. So that's why I bet y'all. nice squad. We had a real nice crew. Cause I wasn't even a basketball player, I was strictly football. We had this Cam and Ann O'Neill that was really, but we did everything back yeah, then though. Yeah, yeah. Now let me ask y'all about, I, I've been thinking about this guy since I was having this interview. James Hollis. That would be you. I'm talking about when from? he got to turn. That would be him. What did you think about James Hollis when he got, as far as just, Cool, my man. Cool. He was like, he was like the man child back then, you know, because he was big and height. I mean, he was the same size. You? Yeah, yeah. We thought he, that he is right now. Yeah, six two. 
Hey, he wasn't better than six two. And Still, was, was put together. You know, right, right, you right. Think about it. You know, so you know, he just uh, did he play college? Did he play a little bit of college ball? Yeah, he got a scholarship to uh, Central Connecticut. Hmm, that's D one, right? Yeah, yeah, get out of here. Yeah. Okay. That's what's up. Yeah. Now, the reason I ask is because I've been watching him on Facebook and he's been, he been heavy in his music. Oh, damn. Boy, he can sing. Big, but that's big. No, he can sing. It, yeah. That's but, the, but the funny part about him is that he always tried to run away from basketball. You think in, oh, I know. In Grammar, that's why I asked about high school. In oh, Grammar school, yeah, he didn't yeah, really want to play. Because at the end of the day, he never really he had no love. potential. You, didn't you know, know, his thing was the music in church and the drums, the singing and all that. But he played ball, but he never really put his all into that. And when I asked him about the 411, I'm gonna leave it alone, it was just funny. When I asked him about the 411, we had the games. Mm -hmm. And he was interested in about what shut him down. He said, Kenny, man, I ain't played no ball 15 years. Man. And at the time, I was like, 15 years from now, <laughs> like, you start playing right after college. That's exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's how he was. No pickup, no nothing? No nothing. Well, I mean, he's just dedicated to his music. That means. And I'm going to ask you about his double. Here, one for you. And I thought about him as well, because I played with him in some leagues. Just a, a ball player. Mm -hmm. Joe Alexander. Boo! Boo was, um. Boo was ahead of his time. Like, you, you see how they be rating uh, players and stuff now? Boo probably would have been number five in the nation when he was in seventh, eighth grade. Because they be Ooh, rating them now. No like, question. He was, that, Bailey he was that <laughs> real, right? Like, you know what I mean? That was the aspiring. Everybody was like, yo, he's but he was, one But one he one. really looked like he was working, putting in that kind he of work. He was. Right, at the early he age. Was. Like, he wasn't just like how we just show up. We can finish playing football at the blue door, and then we go to the wire. The club it wasn't, no, I'm about to go. Shoot some J's and do some down and backs and no drills. It was like we just going to hoop just because. And uh, yeah, Boo was serious. Boo was serious. He was, he was the reason why we went to the club. We kept hearing that back. part. We, we, like, let me see what this all about. That's how y'all got to the club. It was club. competitive like that. Like, who? Well, well, I need to be over there then. I know I'm from the town, but I got my Missouri on right now. <laughs> you got to show me. You go have to. And he was worth the price of. See, Cav, see, Cav take that a little different than I do, right? Because. I enjoy the show. Of course, when I'm competing, it's different. It's whatever. But right. when I'm watching it, it's like, okay, I see what they're talking about. But when I get on the court, I don't see none of that. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. No question. Yeah, but Kevin be like, man, go ahead. <laughs> and he, yeah, right. he think I'm a hard critic. Kevin sick with it. Kevin you know, sick with it. It was just that, you know, once we got over there, and it was like, yeah. Hey, shit, ain't no different. You know, he just lived across the street from the spot. You know, he get here easily. He get a lot quicker than we Make get. a couple more shots because they his rim. See, that's how Kevin got. I told you how we and, go. Uh, you know, he had Kurt behind him. You know, he watched Kurt, you know, and all that. So, you know, you know Joel put in the work. He did. You know, he was a good, he was a good player. Tell man. me about when y'all pick up Kurt since that name just came up. When did y'all pick up the legend of Kurt? I pick it up uh, when I was in seventh grade. 82? Did I pick it up? Yeah, um, my grandmother, the boys club and the wife was daycare back then. Let's just be real. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Drop them so, off. <laughs> but I never wanted to go to the boys club or the wife because they didn't play football. That's how big I was in the football. I'm like, I'm not sitting up there all day and watch them play basketball. But I went, you know, now I'm sitting in there and now you're getting good at the bumper pools and the ping pongs <laughs> and what have you, right? You can play everything in there. Yeah. Fools, ball, whatever. Don't spend it all the way, you feel me? You can't spend it, can't go past your wrist. You can't go past your wrist. So all that. So then, <laughs> you know, one day, you know, I think, uh, you know, just listen to some music. I said, let me go see what's going on here, man. And they picking up. And you just like, I don't know if you saw the Dave Chappelle joint, man, but you looked at that dude and he had that like, the light the was on. <laughs> like the horror, like it was on or something, right? And I'm being dead serious, because I really called him the legend. And I just, it was just something that made me watch. I just sat and watched. I'm like, yo, this dude is incredible, dog. What grade was he in then when you called him? He right? was when a he... senior. Okay, that's a senior. That was he a senior was a senior. senior. That was a when senior. we was in the seventh, he was a senior because okay, I remember I me and Kev Simmons okay. went to the um to, to the, the Kessler. Kessler. South Park against Bennett, ironically. Uh, I don't know if I should be talking like that, but y'all can edit it. <laughs> <laughs> can edit it. But uh, and then um that's when I seen like not that work in the club, but I seen that work with everybody. Everybody like two thousand. And this dude, man, was, uh, 
So that's my. G ain't never let like you see him work out. I don't never remember seeing him. He work never out. did. He I know. I watched him play. Yeah. He never but let you see him. No, no work. he would go when the club was closed. Play was after hours, but he had a key. The story. He had a key. That was the. That's the folklore. He had a key. He had a key. Yeah. But the thing what I saw was how different he was from everybody else in the club. You know, playing his age. His age group. You know. Everybody, you know, when we finish playing ball, everybody else, you take your stuff off and you throw your stuff in the bag. This dude would towel off, had his stuff folded, we'll that his clothes was already folded in his bag. Yeah. This is what I noticed, you know, Man. at a young age. Like, and then he would towel off, he would wait, he'd make sure he was drying up. Then he would put his street clothes back on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, he might have took a shower, man. Hey, I <laughs> might have left it. It might have been the original, the original flip flop boy. When I saw him, what was different was like, dang, this dude, like, and everything was neat and like, like organized. You know, coming out of his bag. You know, we, you know, we just think how we go in the bag. We go, we go. Mm -hmm. You know, or, or when we come in, we go take our clothes off and we put. Yeah. yeah. No, this dude was just, you know, everything, socks and, you know, everything was just, man, perfect. You know, so I was just like, dang, this dude. And he really, and I'm telling people, really around the town. My introduction, Ray Salters mm -hmm. came by to pick me up. South Park Bennett game. They, were they seniors the same year? I'm pretty sure. 83? 83. They were seniors the same year. So you was in the sixth grade. You said Nate or Ray? Ray. Oh, this okay. is South Park. Okay. This is Ray Salters. So they about to play against you? Yeah. He come to get me to take me to the game. He asked my mother could he take me to the game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I get that. And what I remember about that game, fast forward. I remember the game, but fast forward, I run into... Uh, uh, Tim Stu, and I was asking about tapes of high school basketball, just trying to do some do some videos before. And he said, oh man, I got the game. He said, I got the tape where I held Kurt the 44. Mm. <laughs> he held the 44. Huh? Yeah, that's what he held. South Park won that game. 103, 105. I okay. held Kurt the 44 was what he told me. Hold on, just imagine if it's the three was. No three. three he would have had 80. Might have had a ball. <laughs> Might have had a hundred. <laughs> nah, one of them boys would be falling. Oh, one of them sorry, bro. Oh, yeah, buddy. Still, not, still alive. Just think where he was shooting from. from. I know. Shoot from wow. Wow. Think of, now listen. Well beyond that. He had over wow. 2,000 points. That's when shot. Nothing but threes with no three point. I mean, when I say deeper shots. Yeah, he was different, man. He was just a different dude. He was really different, man. Like I said, he had an order, man, because I hated basketball. What, did he change something for you far as like? I just told you, like he changed my whole attitude towards him. Oh, okay, that was, okay, okay. When I saw him, I was like, yo, that was it for me. Okay, okay. Because Kev, you know, everybody who grew up with me, grew up with me, know I was a football fan. Right, right. You know, that was all I wanted to do. Like, we had, remember we had a little team, Kev, and we played football, then we played basketball, and then I was like, then you know they wanted to be a basketball team, and it was you, Red, Booney. Yeah, I was like, no, nah, we don't want to play football no more. I was like, well, I don't need to be here. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't for me, dude. Because we would play football for a half, and then we play basketball for a half. They're like, no, nah, we don't want to play football. Where was I playing at? We were in our jam, 53. Oh, okay. We used to go with school eight. Yeah. Yeah. What was that final two is what they used to call it? We used to do early. Damn, man. Yeah. Let me ask you, do I think about 53? Was there any advantage or disadvantage having your father as the gym teacher? Not to me. Not, not to you? I move the same way every day. No, you so wouldn't even know that boy with the, yeah. You didn't even went there with his father his last day with a car. He ain't never rode home with him. People be like, why you ride home with your cops? <laughs> I'm some people. <laughs> he said, not some people. Me. <laughs> I need to know. It's cold today. <laughs> I was trying to see the community. I'm walking, yeah, I'm walking with everybody else. Yeah, we walking down here. You wouldn't even get a ride? No. I was going to school, I would. But Two. In the morning, but not. In the morning, I had to. You know? Come on, we off. You know? But afterward, I got this now. I'm fifth, sixth grade now. I got it now. You know? I know how to get home. Yeah. Man, I can never yeah. get a ride. Yeah. Be like, Dude, you crazy. Cold days, too. You wouldn't take the ride. I, 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 I want to get in there. I want, I want to be in the mix. I want to see what's get what. The, get that you know? weather in. That's how you get to know what people see yeah, in for different real. areas. Walk through the hood. Yeah. You know? So and then sometimes we don't want to go home. They go to what long park. We may stay after school and, and play some little fumbly wumbly and stuff yeah, like right. that. You know, this dude had his father as the gym teacher and wouldn't want to take a ride to the crib. That's, that's right. Did you play any other sport? Did you play like school sports? Your grammar school? Did y'all play any other sport? Other? Than I mean, we just told you we did it all. Well, but as far as like 
Ben and Jim teacher, did he go through the whole oh, floor hockey and all that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, everything. Hockey was fun. Hockey, soccer, 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 and all that, man. Uh, then, kickball. Then we used to have the, uh, like the baby Olympics around our. Remember? Oh yeah, yeah, the track meets. Me. Track meets. Track meets. Me. Me. I just brought me. Oh, y'all just brought me to NYSP. Did either one of y'all go to NYSP? Not me. Either one of y'all go to NYSP? To join that Kenesha's, the summer program. Oh no, I used to go up there though. Are you come get lunches or you just come afterwards? No, I would come afterwards and play, uh, play basketball. At one. Royal. Who was sweet? The, the boy Royal, the play quarterback. For kids that remember him, Ken? Royal, Royal, Royal. Only what I remember is the traditional. No, 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 he's older. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't know him, but I know what you're talking about. Because he, he used to be the he's man too, lightweight up at Kenesha. He used to work up, didn't he? He used to work the summer Yeah, camp. he was older. Yeah. That's I, that's why I met Phil Seymour to all them at NYESP. They used to work. I don't even know the name of it. I never knew the that name That was a great program. My, my mother used to be like, nah, nah I don't want to go over there. You want that free program? That was weird as hell. <laughs> <laughs> what did y'all do in the summertime in grammar school? What did y'all do? Grammar school, I was baseball. I was baseball. I was baseball. I was baseball. Baseball, my first love. Baseball. What position you play? Shortstop? Name it. Shortstop, second base, third base, pitcher, catcher. Man. I mean, I was doing it in. I ain't. Yeah, I didn't look at that one. He said he was doing it. I bet you are. I don't want to look at him right now. I hold my own skills with that baseball. I didn't nobody teach me nothing. I had a backyard with a, a garage, and the garage was tall enough. I could throw the ball, scoop it up. Man, we used to kill y'all. You know that, right? Stop, man. In, YBC against who? N I C Y O, man. We was undefeated. 16 and 0. I didn't play, man. So <laughs> we was 16 and 0 that year. I don't remember losing a lot of baseball. We played in Delaware Park. We played in Central Park. We played, uh, what's that? At, at, uh, Glennie. Glennie. And, and you uh, played at LaSalle. You know, we, we, we was yeah. there. Come on, man. I was right there. We was the Dodgers. I remember all that, but I don't remember y'all having y'all wait for this stuff. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna look at, I'm gonna look at, I'm gonna look at my man over here. I wasn't there. And that was my only beef with my pop. I mean, that's the only whoopers I ever got from my pops was dealing with his golf stuff. You know, I thought I was sweet. He golf, he had the gloves and all that. So you took the gloves. Go watching, you know, Mavis Lee, he's working up the back with the gloves on. Yeah, them gloves. And he got the gloves up under the gloves. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm sweet. doing that. Yeah. I'm doing that. So, you know, I'm having good, I'm good at baseball, having good games, getting three for four, four for five. And then my pops don't come to my games in the summer because he golfing. Mm -hmm. He ain't gonna never see this missing. Man, I'm on second base, just hit a nice double. Man, I'm like, yeah. Do I see coming to him and his man? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> him and his man. I'm not, nah. <laughs> Did you I'm do anything or you went? I'm saying, hey, I'm having a good game and the coach gonna tell him. No, I'm gonna be all right. <laughs> nah, nah. That was a butt whooping right there. That's it. Ricky, he got at you, right? Huh? The first joint. The second joint was uh -oh, uh -oh. a uh -oh. golf ball. This is how I got nice with baseball. I'm in my driveway, you know, Deaconess Hospital across the way. I feel like I'm in the stadium. I got the shag bag golf balls. You can't get them across the bay. I got them joints across the joint. That's all whole lot. I'm aiming them across the way. Now listen, I'm nine. I'm nine years old at this time, man, so I'm hitting both ways. <laughs> I don't care what cars I'm hitting, nothing. At that time, Deacons had the parking lot. Yeah. Right. I ain't care, man. But he came home, man. The little 100 balls, some shag balls in there. They call. Oh. Nah. Not the joint that you get like when you go. Oh, I up. Yeah, you know the shag you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. Man, listen. Hey, dad. Hey, on there, man. <laughs> you can go get them, man. You no, you can go go get them, man. When they got them, I mean, another one. Got another one. How many wide up retrievers? Not many. Few, we got a few, but it was, you know. Oh, you, had, you still had the machine, though. Yeah, but this was after everybody left, you know. Oh, okay, okay. And all that, so it was just like, man, but that's how I got good at base. High hand coordination, mm -hmm. that's right. Mm -hmm. I can hit that little golf ball like that, that big baseball coming. That's too big yeah. now. Easy money. I'm killing it. Come I'm on, man. Now, listen. <laughs> high school. You played all four years in high school? Started off. You started off four years? Started off four years. I was there for four years. Matter of fact, you gotta go to high school for four years. Yeah, you started this month. No, no, no. <laughs> you didn't uh, you didn't you didn't you didn't play with Lamar at all? Yeah, yeah freshman year. year. Okay, you started with him as yeah. okay, I thought you played behind in your freshman. That's what I was asking. Yeah. And you played how many years high school basketball? A uh, year and a half. A half my junior year and my senior year. And that's all? 
people really think you play for it. The reason I ask you, because people think you play for these high school. That's basketball. why. That's why when people be talking that high school work, like I had a year, but I don't even belong in that conversation. People put too many work and too much work into too many years for me to be like. It's just the work. The, yeah, well, the work. I mean, you still some people have one year and then you. you but I only had like a half a. I was cool my junior year. I was 18. My senior year. I mean, I, I got busy, but it ain't even to be talking about somebody like Mac or Kurt or Richie or Ice Cream. Mm -hmm. the, like boys boys Jay, the boys played four years, ten women, some boys that put some work in. And as as humble, I, I, no, I'm not gonna ever say the word humble. I hate that word. The, the, the def, definition. You I never use it no more. Never use it again. All right. I'll strip feel. that. I, I, I was okay with people putting me in it, but like I can't chime in on that. You know what I mean? But your 76 count, though. What is 76 going to count? Yeah, but that's still a year. But do you just really know that 76 was a day y'all played it and almost everybody else was off that day? Uh, no, the only game that was happening was Burgard and McKinley. 40 yeah. Okay. And that, was years. those makeup games? Or was y'all makeup? I don't know what it was. I remember mean, it was February 18, 1988. At Seneca. Oh, At Seneca. 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 My gym. Yeah, that, that gym. Was it's yours now. And you sat out a couple minutes of that game. I didn't play the whole game. I played probably uh, 70, 32 minutes. I probably played 25 minutes. 25 minutes. So you could have so you could have probably put up 85, 90. Yeah, the way I was feeling because... I mean, every, do you remember that game at all? What do you remember about that game? I just remember um, it being tied at halftime. And I had 24 points at halftime. This is what I remember vividly, vividly about the game. And um, we come out the locker room at five. You know, five's got boys on every team. So five was like, yo, man, this is your last game. Go ahead and drop 50 and um, talk to you later. I was like, all right, five's gave him a bond or whatever. And um, he went to the other game. So he missed it. <laughs> <laughs> So he missed it. You know, he came to us in the first half, then went to them. So the you want to clarify half. that five? No, five. You was missed there at one five. point. You missed that five. Yeah, okay. you missed that. Shit. So you had 24 and a half. Yeah. Now what? What was different in the second half? In the second half, um, I don't know. Did like, you come right out and hit something? Because I mean, you saw me. I didn't shoot shoot a lot of jump shots in high school. I didn't think nobody could stay in front of me, so I hardly ever shot jump shots. So second half, I hit a three or something. Like, all right, so then, you know, we pressing. Now I got a dub. I got a couple of dunks. You know, that was my deal. Laying the boy and one in the board. And then it was a point. It was a stretch where I hit six threes in a row, and I don't even know why I shot them. Where are you shooting from? I shot them from the hash on the break with nobody in front of me. Pulled up? I just pulled. But I'm like, what? Yeah. Yeah. That take a lot of good moves. Yo! Oh my God! I'm pulling up. I'm, yo. I like it. You got a steal. So, I pull so, up. so if you miss that shot, you get your own rebound. You got it. Um, you got it. Probably, because you know I was an athlete. So I probably could have got it. Now I'll probably just look at it and be like, Ooh, damn. <laughs> damn. <laughs> well, 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 why you ain't get down Why you ain't get down there? He get wants the ball, get a rebound, all right? So I just was, and then six six possessions in a row. Who was on that spot? I would that was uh, Boo. Kenny Phil, Shabam. Uh, this was the year after we went to the stage and everybody had. Was Nigel still there? Nigel was there. Nigel was at South Park. Was at South Park. Not that year, the following year was at South Park. So who was he at that year? Uh, probably sitting on somewhere. So how them boys, how them boys feel about you taking all the shots though? What shots? It was it was in it, it was if in it's really? a such such thing, Mac, it was actually in the flow of the game. If there's a such thing. If it's a such thing as somebody cause yeah, I mean dog only shot, I'ma say only, like 30 something times. But I made 26 of them. So what what you mad about? Getting it out the net? So you shot about 75. I was efficient as I don't know what. 75%. 75%. That would be my junior year. You know, yeah. 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 What it say? I, I saw what it said. What it say? Ain't got no glasses on. Uh, uh, what is it? Oh, John Thomas. What about him? <laughs> that what it said. Oh, you said was he on the team with him then? No, nah, no. Uh, he was gone. He ain't seven. That's what I was. That's what I asked. Who's on that team? Well, Boo, 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 owner, I mean, Boo had um, what's his name? What Boo had that guy? No, Boo had um, my principal, Miss Whitman. Y'all know y'all heard about her infamous. He had detention. She don't care if it was a game or not. You had to serve your detention before you came to the game. So they was late. Oh, so you had to go. So a lot of things kind of lined up yeah, yeah, for that yeah. thing to happen the way it happened. You feel me? So they came a little late. By the time they came, 
The flow was on. The show was on. Yeah, there's nothing on. I know L. L probably wasn't, it wasn't sitting there. Nah, but you know, that's. L was like, yo, damn, you take a lot of shots. Nah, <laughs> nah, he didn't, nah, he didn't, see, he didn't talk like that to me. <laughs> <laughs> No, that but some, to somebody. Oh, yeah, yeah, not to me. <laughs> no, that ain't, that's not how that was ever going down. Yeah, too crazy. Shots, Who that? I can, yeah, I can just hear that L saying that. But you know, if, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but it's nothing you can say when they're going, going in. in. Because while he talking to somebody, they like, whoa, you whoa, know, get back on me. You not just saying six threes in a row. And why would the coach care? Well, you know, and, and V, I got a lot of, he asked, dude, he was like, well, he's close he to the record. Him, that's what he put in the paper. He said, put him back in. He said, he's close to the record. Do you mind? Because we could, we had blew the joint open at 20 points, and now we up. The game, like I said, it was time to halftime, and then by, we up by like 25, 30. And he was like, no, go ahead and let him get it. You had the record? Huh? You, how long you had the record for? A year? Less than a year. Ice cream had 80 next year. I'm an RC. Ice cream had. Yeah, they gave him the ball at the end of the game, though. Ooh, ice they gave him six to eight points. Six, six to eight points. They, they gave him six to eight points. Yeah, the ball. I said it, Ice. They, they, they handed it to him. They, they did. did. They did. Man, man, man. Ice, you did it like that, Ice. Man, man, man did, did it. Ain't doing you hear what I told you? You hear what I told you? Man. Man. Everybody. Took it out and gave him the ball and got out the way. They, 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 like six, they know, I know it's at least six points. Like that. Yeah, he just gave him the ball. Now let me, now that, you was gone. Yeah. Y'all both graduated 80. Yeah, 88. 88. Well, I didn't graduate, I was gone. But my senior year, which was really, I, ice cream was on the map, but Richie had just kind of, kind of, kind of. You had to be a basketball, known. like, uh, kind of sore to know, because he played at the Sal's, and, you know, we knew him from the park. It's right. It's like, I guess when them kids, you'd be like, yo, if he grow, Cats is in trouble. And he grew. And he grew. <laughs> and he grew. He grew late. Yeah, he grew. And that, but I remember him being just a little bit older, but he was really like the main event at the at party. At that time, him, 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 him and Dabra. Him, him, him and Todd Allen. Him, him, him and Todd Allen. You feel but, me? Yeah. Yo, the funny part, he's always, man, I hate it, Todd. <laughs> he ain't like that. I used to go with his joint. <laughs> Todd, his little that. finger roll, yeah, yeah. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, that's Martin right. Luther King part, in case y'all don't know. Right. Martin Luther Randy King part, Randy Smith, Randy Smith, Randy Smith Half Summer time. League, yeah, Halftime. Time. Richie Kemp was a little kid, and my god brother Todd Short Allen. Short. Short Allen was like halftime. They would put on a little show, regardless of the game. They Look, they probably would do it at the halftime of their own game. Yeah. <laughs> I let it be out. Let, let it be all of us unlimited. Oh, fruit bell, so peppermint, loud, or something. On. Hey, All listen. them joints used to be joints. Look, uh, we got to go right there then since we brought up Martin Luther King Park. I'm fitting on. That is your backyard. That's just me again. That's where I got it at. That's your backyard. That's where I started learning how to play, play against older people, man. Mm -hmm. I'm playing against dudes 25, 26 years old at the mm -hmm. park. Like, Tell me how you felt about playing there on a regular and then playing at a game. Did you feel that was an advantage for you or did you feel more comfortable than other people? As far as like when the, when the games, even when the lights came on, just because you knew the court, you knew it dipped already? Up the hill. <laughs> oh, up the hill. Ain't nobody ever wanted to play up the hill, you know? Now, now, now the second half, you want to go down here, second half. I'm just somebody to pick up. Oh, no, I don't. They want to go to this. Don't nobody want to switch? We're not switching? No, they don't want to do that. But, uh, <laughs> the dance can go on the way from dance, right? It really wasn't no, dis I mean, no advantage or disadvantages back then, because you, when you're younger like that, you just want to play. All day. You just play. Right, right, right. 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 Man, always the goal up. You know, we used to play with no nets. Right. So, they need no net. They need no net. I didn't know how to use a backboard early, so I really, yeah. I didn't value the net. Yeah, I didn't value the net. <laughs> yeah, play in that, in that, in that, in that, I'm gonna call it an arena. That's what it was. Yeah, what it was. was Three thousand seat arena, outdoors. That, that, that just was big, man. Was there for them to get you sneakers and you know uniforms and all that, man. It was just. That, that now, was how long did you play? How long did you play? How many years in a row you play? I started off eight to twelve when I was twelve, and then up to sixteen, eighteen. You didn't get any unlimited. Nah, not the official unlimited. Nah, it, it, it kind of like kinda right, it dropped way off. You know, but when we was younger. That was everything. Did you get any unlimited? Yeah, the, the, the year before they shut it down. I think that was what, 89? 88, 88, 89. Like 80, summer 89. That was our senior year of high school. Summer 89. Our yeah, summer was 88. So no, it was the summer 89 when they 89 shut it down. 89 was my seat, it was the last summer. Was that the last summer? Yeah, that's was that the pop can and all that? 
That's the Nate Sarters incident, correct? Yeah. So he don't own up to that at all. I know. I heard about that Nate. He so don't anyway, own that at all. Um, <laughs> See, I got a little bit of it. We actually played against Richie and uh, Cream. So you did get some unlimited. I got the official. The official. Now tell me how did that shape your game at 13, 15? As far as like leading up to that, um, wanting, did you ever feel like you wanted to really play at that? Never mind the pros. I wanted The that. Randy. I want some. I, I didn't. That's crazy because it wasn't football, dude. So, um. He came and asked me that I want to play basketball. And I was like, man, I don't play basketball, but you know, we just going to have some fun. Were you 12? I was 12. Okay. I was going on 13. Like I, like right, I, your birthday is September, there. right? Yeah, being okay. care birthday is late in the year. Okay. So, but that year, I was going on tour with my dad now. You know I got to get some of that. Okay. okay so, no way, <laughs> so I, I was I was only going, I told him I'm, I'm only going to be here for the beginning of this, whatever, right after school. Was, I said, I'm leaving. And like I think I left in July, like right before the 4th or right after. So I played three games. And we was 3-0. and oh, And I remember the first time I got a, ooh, you know, you, you little, yeah. you do something like this. Because I would just went on the break. And I was always athletic. So I could jump, probably, probably was smacking the glass in or whatever. So that was like a dump for us. That was a dump. What you talking about? <laughs> So I probably went with one of them, and ooh, I probably only had like nine points, but I got a ooh, I was like, all right, that's cool. And it just so happened that I had just seen that deal with Kurt, which I told you kind of was molding me, and then at 8 to 12, and then I was like, all right, I see how I feel when I get back. And then we get back, and uh, now we full-fledged, eighth grade, we ball. Now we like pretty good that year. We got Ann O'Neill, we got this cat, Trey Vincent, God bless the dead. School. We had some boys. We had some boys. Yeah, we had size and everything. We had big name and outing was our muscle. Like we was, yeah, we was nice. Yeah, man, we was nice. And um, I don't know. Then we went to Turner, man, and uh, and played in that tournament. And uh, we lost uh, Kevin, Kevin Jamison. I mean, he had a shot at the buzzer. 38, 39. About that. About a couple yeah, months. Still ago. Kind of what school you went to? South Side. The ball outside. ran the corner. He grabbed the ball and, and just turned square like Bernard King. His body no, was like that. That thing looked good. It, didn't it look good? Soon as it left oh, the man. I remember it. Man, I remember looking at that joint. It was on the basket towards the cafeteria. Yeah. He banged that joint on us at the buzzer. So after that, I don't know. And, um, and I was like, okay, this basketball thing. But let me let me do one more year of this football. And uh, went out there and, you know, did, you know, I did okay for myself. I could play football a little bit. And then we had that year, 13-15, um, when we won the championship against uh, uh, Crow and them boys. Remember we beat them? That was Vern. That was Vern. What was the name of they? What was it? Right, so they was a white. They, they was a white. was Sprite one year they had black. Yeah. 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 Well, they was green that year. Yeah, right, okay. Yep, yep. And that's when, the, that's when the bug hit. That's when I really started getting serious, like serious, serious. Like, okay, these boys is good, but... I think I got a gear that they can't get to. Not being disrespectful or nothing, but I just, I just you felt like I had, you had a little extra something. Just something, just a little like the boys is going higher, but I feel like they just got more skill than I did. I think I got a little something, so let me let me tighten this up, and then let's see where it go. It right wasn't even that, man. You was, was Westbrook before Westbrook. <laughs> you had one <more> speed. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I, I, I'm waiting for somebody. You only yeah. have warp. Yeah. 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 But that's football, that's football. mentality. That football. We'll run you that's over. why I couldn't nobody stop the man on the football field. You know, he get that ball, he yeah, got to get up out of there. Like we was just talking the other day. I thought you was a two back with us, and you said it was a five. I was the four coming across that thing. Man, I'm hitting that but, thing. But, but coming across, it was just like, man, this dude, man. Yeah, I'm gonna get up out of there. Football was his thing. Man, man, I probably could have played those. Why? Why you never? Why you, did you? I have, just told you all these. Things. I'm just saying, but why it never like? Damn, I want to stick around just a little bit. Or basketball just took off. It just really like I told you it was those those events that I you know. Yeah, yeah. Yo, check this they out. Just they just mind that. touch on how how I met my pops. He thought he messed your whole career up. Oh, the pencil. Man, my father let a kid play in, at gym in some jeans. You know, back in the day, you put pencils in your pocket and all that. Some yeah, kid, a miscellaneous kid, they don't, they don't even do nothing with the ball or none of that. I'm playing Charles, man. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. Charles, yeah, bowling, right? Yeah, yeah. Bernard is his real Yeah, so, you know, drag go up, come down. Pencil, stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
man, my pops was twisted, man. He was yeah. like, yo, man, he man, ball suit. I'm here, I'm here, no, listen, you know I'm like, yeah, after, was, after school at home. I wouldn't have never, if I would have done that, I still wouldn't have to work. Because <laughs> everything was dead wrong, but yeah. no, I would never do yeah. it. And actually, I came back and played in that tournament at tournament that year. At Turner that year, at tournament. That was kind of a tough twist because you know that thought, tournament at Turner. I thought the man was through. I said, dang, a pencil in his knee. Man, man that joint, it, 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 it went in there. It was in there. It broke off in my joint. Pencil. <laughs> man, they, they numbed it up, man. Pulled that thing right out, man. And, you know, I was good. Wow. Yeah. But I did hear folklore stories about your little league football career. Yeah. Give me some of those. Give me some of that. I mean, I don't, I don't know what folk, folklore is. I mean, I, I couldn't be you no know, folklore. I was balling. Uh, you know, it's like it's, they said you hit a, a board with a rock. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they start calling your ball. You know, I don't really. <laughs> only, only thing I can really say that might be uh, that's kind of that would make me like stand out to myself is I, I wasn't. I had a white helmet. I wouldn't let him take my helmet. Yeah, I had a white black nice helmet. Nice it still is almost. So, man, you know they painted everybody. Oh, you ain't touching by it. I had my blue face mask and my white joint. I was like, no, y'all can't paint. And he was the easiest man. They knew he was getting the ball with the white helmet. <laughs> Come on and get me that. Still so give me y'all little, give me y'all little team. Give me y'all that, that bomb squad y'all had for the vets. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Give me the names, man. Uh, how many of y'all remember the starting lineup? But how many of y'all remember total from that squad? Come on. Back and give me the phone. Give me the number. The okay. jersey number. Okay. What was AP number? 11. What was Slaughter number? 77. Who else was on that squad? Was Vincent on that squad? Vincent on that squad? 65. Steve Roberts on that squad? 28. Was he 28? 28. Damn, who else I remember? Remember Vic Baker? Vic Baker. Vic Baker was on that squad too? 38. 38. He was the, I thought he was the fullback. He was a three. Because he ran around. He used to try to drop boys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was on that squad? 29. 39. 39. 39. Fast. Yeah. How many? Uh, come on! Um, yeah. Number 12, 22. Kelvin uh, yeah. Lee, 82. Uh, Kev Simmons, 53. 53, uh, my receiver. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> With that number? The boy, he wanted to chuckle. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Cold feet, God bless the dead. Wasn't he 33 mm. or 35? No, he was on no Montgomery. Uh, uh, Montgomery went to Turner with us. He was 33. 33, somebody was 35. Vince was 35. Yeah. Vince uh, Toler was 35? No, Vince Cool V was just fast. His last name Toler. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. I called him Cool V. That's a fast. That's all you do? <laughs> uh, Y'all had a crew. Mike Jacobs. Was Mike Jacobs 43? Something like that. Doug Hammer. Doug Hammer. Doug Hammer. 66. Six up with y'all. Was he tackle? Guard? Yeah, of course he was. <laughs> Chuck, big, uh, big Chuck was 74. Chuck, yeah. Chuck Chuck Williams. who? Chuck Williams. Chuck Williams. Chuck Chuck Williams. Chuck Williams. Chuck Chuck Williams. Chuck Chuck Williams. Chuck Chuck Williams. Chuck Williams. Chuck Williams. Chuck Williams. Chuck Shit, we played that thing, man. We, yeah, we played some good football. Good. Larry Payton, 34. Right, right. I forgot about Payton. Payton. Payton was 34. Yeah, I had a whole crew right there. Aaron Heron, 48. Mm -hmm. I mean, the day they coming to, they about to. I see. Ibrahim, uh, uh, 51. Mm -hmm. uh, no, 41. 41. 41. He was on that team? Yeah. Dickerson. Yeah. Dickerson joint. But the Dickerson joint. Ibrahim was 41. No! Yeah. Now listen. I want to ask Trevor Rapper a few questions, and I'm gonna let him go on. But I'm gonna ask a couple more questions about the, the time he spent on the road. Uh, his father, Levi Ruffin, was uh, the leader of the band who played for Rick James, Stone, Stone City, City Band, yeah. Stone City Band, and he used to go on tour at a young age with the band. And we would hear about it, like man. And but I didn't get to ask till I got grown. But I want to get him to share some of these stories with you about being on the road with Rick James. So please tell me your first encounter and what it was like and just give me all that, you know, as far as like being on the road. You, um, well, the road was a little different than just going to uh, Rochester or okay. DC to just see a show and right, right. go back home. You know, to, you know, to pull out with the buses. It was a little different, right? Um, I guess what I would kind of have to, it, it's hard for me to make it seem like something because it was something that I did, right? right? right. And I did so much as a kid, I like, I wish I was grown, first of all. <laughs> I wish I was a little older, just a little older, because I was only 12. <laughs> I was only 12. I wish I was a little older, because I, you know, I, you would have, 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 you would
it was kind of surreal, but it was normalcy to me, right? Um, they go out there and, and you see 19,000 people, man. To see them all, just like feeling people that you just talk to right, right, right on the regular. Just like this dude, man, I'm just with this dude, man. And, and he got people lighting joints and they used to do this, they do that, he do this, they do that. And I'm like, he just got them just, like, this dude got 19,000 people to do whatever he want them to do. Like, this was a party, so. And then you had my dad and then, you know, all of them, like, my uncles and stuff. So it was just, it was, it was one thing to travel, but that concert, that show, man, just to see how every night they just had to bring it, like, every night, because it's a different crowd. It's 19,000 people, but it's not the same city. Right, right. So you said that's the feeling. <laughs> Did you feel any of that as far as going to each city that, that you felt you needed to, to reach? You know what I'm trying to fire? Like well, you, you, you would always do this because, I, you know, I was working. Right. right. I was like a roadie because I used to be, I used to play the drums real good. A lot of people don't know that. And so I was kind of like, I would go do the sound checks, you know, help, help uh, Jerry Rainey. One of my uncles set up the drums and, and you know, just be around, because I would jump on everybody's bus. I started off with my dad, though. Then I went on the crew's bus. The crew get there before everybody. Like, they leave right after the show, because they got to set up for the for next, next city. city. Then I got on Rick bus, had to get off that bus. <laughs> oh, yeah, so that bus was two room. <laughs> and then I, uh, I was got my way on the Mary Jane girls bus. I, I messed around and got on that bus, and uh, what was that bus like? That bus was something like I wish I was older. Like I was <laughs> instances where I wish I was just a little. But they probably wouldn't have been on that bus if I was a little older, right? They were, oh, you're so cute. I was like, all right, keep playing. My father used to say that too. I can't say what he said, but he used to say, well, you know, my father gave it up. <laughs> so, <laughs> so my dad, he tell this story a lot funny to me, but I guess I can touch yeah, it. Yeah, come on, touch it a little bit. So. <laughs> My mother, you know, there's no cell phone, so she can't track it, but every time, you every stop, you better call and check, you got my baby with you, whatever. And so they stopped somewhere, and we didn't stop at the same stop. So, <laughs> where home um, with Trevor at? Oh, he on the bus with the girl. My mother said, what? <laughs> you on, he on the bus with who? Don't you know that boy's about to be 13? He's a human hor hormone or whatever. A so walking my, human my dad, <laughs> my dad said he got on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> and they was like, oh, baby, um, Trevor, could you hand me my panties and my bra? And he was like, oh, get you, get you. <laughs> so that was it. I'm just going, I'm just, yeah, hey, I got you. Hey, hey, I'm the best helper. <laughs> right? <laughs> I am the best. Yeah, I am the best. <laughs> now this I can do for a living, right? <laughs> I'm just handing around on, yo, my father, yo, my father tell that story so funny, man, because I was just, jump on off this once again, it's hard to realize what you're doing, right, how you're doing you're it, right? It. Like, everybody, I, I say the whole town is lucky that I left Turner. Okay. And then we can go into that, I'm going to touch yeah, on that a little Yeah, yeah, come on, because you was on, did you stay your whole freshman year? No, I couldn't take it. How long did you last? To April. That was, that was almost right. Yeah, I tried. Yeah, that was almost right. I tried it. Now tell me your experience at Turner, being with Lamar your freshman year. Who I mean, you knows? <laughs> that was rough for me. You know, we was like what nine or seventeen or something. You know, coming from winning championships, in summer league, mm -hmm. and winning in grammar school. Mm -hmm. It was just like that. I didn't like the way that tasted. Like, like, garbage. We, man, we got a center six three. Can't play basketball. And like, yo, who is this? Hey, he good play. Let's go with that. We, we, we had two. Dance. We had two centers that couldn't amount to one. Right. You know, but we worked. We, we worked. We got nine, nine, ten wins. But uh, no, Lamar, let's go tenth grade. Lamar was just a different dude. Man. Lamar was different out there. Yeah. Huh? Tell him what you told him. He wanted to shoot the ball and. Uh, they try and get to school and all that. We understand all that, but as soon as you leave, man, we're going we to win, man. You told him that? Yeah, we're going to win. Yeah, we're going to win. For sure. How gay is that? So uh, That's real, though. I just knew, you know, what we had. We got, we got a nice little, you know, recipe. We got a nice little recipe here, you know. So, uh, I said, 10th grade year, I said, hey, started doing some things, you know. <laughs> the team was, we was running, everybody was, you know, happy, everything was good, and, who you, you know, play with Tim Gray? Who, who, 
who, who, who's contributed with your 10th grade year? Shit, all of us, man. One thing about Paterno, man, it was like, you weren't gonna have nobody dropping 30 yeah, and things like that. You may sneak a 25er in or 20 in or something like that. So you may get somebody with 13. You got six, seven dudes in double figures. You know, at least four. Four strong double figures, you know. In high school, that's good. Then you get about 10 to 15 points coming off the bench. Mm -hmm. You know, you got a chance mm -hmm. in every Definitely. game. Every game. Mm -hmm. So you know, we, we just we just played together, and then some. And then sometimes, you know, we had to stick together. But back then, you played certain against, schools. You went. You went to go against, play. Playing against referees and yeah, that vibe, buddy. You know, so it was like it was kind of rough, though. You know, mm -hmm. so but you know, we went in the storm. You know, we had different attitudes, and you know. Reps could easily tee boys up on our squad because they have different emotions and mm -hmm. we just try to tame them emotions and all that. But how was it know. playing in the Mount Senior Martin back then as far as like dealing with oh. those kind of things? Yeah, and were you conscious? Oh yeah, it, I mean it's, some of it was just blatant. You know, you, oh it definitely it, used to be a little bit. <laughs> going at timing and hostile right timing, man, like they right up on you and and you hearing all of this and that and like man. You be wanting to really mm -hmm. wig out, mm -hmm. you know, but had to keep, somebody had to keep these boys on the patrol, you know, because we had Sally, Sally was wild, you know. They went, when Queen Hollis will flip, you can't, ain't no bringing him back. When he flipped, it was over. Right. Yeah, it was over. Yeah, because yeah. it took him long to get there. But yeah. once he got there, mm -hmm. it was done. Because he took a lot to get there. He really yeah. preferred you to leave him alone totally. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. it had to be coming from the other side. If he... Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. So yeah, that was that was different, man. But it was just it was just a cool experience, man, to be in that tournament, man. Just because of the, the environment. You know, and at that time we was the only show in the inner city at seven, seven o'clock thirty. Think about it, you know? So okay. the games used to be kinda thick, you know. Y'all and then Mount started to get some of that yeah, shine. Mount, yeah, Mount got it. Too. Yeah, I forgot about Mount, yeah. Mount got some Mount of that got shine. Some of that shine well, but they didn't have the the, the, the capacity. Right? No, no, they had no those, size. Those were some of the best games, though, man. Mount, man, you always look forward to that. Yeah. Then Mount always used to, they used to kill us. They used to blow us out, like 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 16 or better during the regular season, man. We never, they used to come in our spot and get us, man, but when it was time, that money time, mm -hmm. we get them. Y'all would get him with it. Man, what? Man, I'm not trying to lose, man. I'm trying to I'm trying to end my season in New York or Glen Falls. Mm -hmm. That's all it was. My last three years. I ain't losing here. No. Right. No way. So when did you play against Lightning? That was oh he got me. He got me my like junior year, right? That was my sophomore, year. sophomore year. He got us my sophomore year, him and Rick Targowski. You're right. They got us in Glen. I saw the picture with Lightning. Oh yeah. Um, so that game right there, I played that game on a severely sprained ankle. I did that in practice, playing in some, some, what's it, some, some suede Adidas. Playing around in practice, jumped up. Came down on some light mm. angle. Man. Ooh. Yeah, because there wasn't no tape back then. We had no training. Mm. <laughs> we didn't have any training. I played, we played at Regis. They come in from New York City. Man, I'm playing, man. I play against them. We beat them. We're going to Glens now. Boom. Good. How was your ankle? It was terrible. It was terrible. I couldn't even walk on it. But I get to Glens. I said, let me go to Glens. I'm playing. Get to Glens, get some new pair of sneakers. Good. Tired of take job. Good. <laughs> got up early that morning. We played at 11 o'clock that morning. Get up at, get everybody up at 7. We go downstairs to eat, get the swimming pool. I, I'm going to get in the hot tub. I'm trying to loosen my joint up, see y'all? Like, y'all got to get right. Yeah. Everybody in the swimming pool. Get in the cloudy. cloudy. Man, we in the game, the whole game. Man, third quarter, man, scored like, man, 49, 48. Man, fourth quarter come, man. The boys ain't got no legs. That's that swimming. Playing. Yeah. The boys want to beat them by 13, man. That's tight. That, that swimming cooked in, didn't it? Tight, man. Yeah. I'm like, yo. Mm -hmm. That was rough right there. So I said, I told my man, man, play in the summer league. Man, we going to beat y'all. We going to get y'all boys, man. Y'all boys ain't that nice. <laughs> Senior year rolled around. Okay. Got the boys again. We go to New York. This is how different basketball was. The state flyers to New York. We play. Squad in Fordham University, and then we beat them. Come back next day, play Nichols at Sweet Home. Christian last year, my last year. Mm -hmm. You can't beat me this year. Man, man, Tom betting on him. You know, we knocking boys, you know, we tag teaming him. Mm -hmm. Chris had about 18, 19. Nah, we gonna get that W. We gonna get that W. That boy can play some basketball. Mm -hmm. and we play my basketball. Uh, yeah, for sure. My, but he got tough coming through the coming through sure the did. Coming through the I remember Chris when he was in ninth grade or eighth grade with Keith Wood, my cousin at Nickel. Yeah. He couldn't do nothing. He couldn't do nothing. And then he just kept, kept prospering. Yeah. 
Kept getting better. Kept getting better. He definitely came through the city. All American. All American. Now, did he used to come to to? He played in Martin Luther King. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He used to go, I remember he used to come up to the park a little. for Will Wednesday. I mean, when we went on the on tour, I mean, on the road. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, he had to put him on, on the A.U. With Cal and up? Yeah. That was the A.U. Yeah, yeah. That was the A.U. Was, was it even called that then? Yeah, it was a whole bunch. You know that, you East Coast. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, huh? it was a whole lot of different stuff. Man. Well, uh, that was just like the travel ball back then. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where we had three right. tournaments. Did you play that spot with us where we had him and mm-hmm. uh, Steve Watson? I can't remember shit. Steve Watts, yeah, we had Big Steve from Olean. He's an AD now at, um, matter of fact, the final four at um, Chicago, Illinois. Loyola, Chicago. Okay. He, he left St. Bonaventure, AD, then he went down there and went to the final four. Okay. And, uh, yeah, okay. Steve played with us. We played about six, eight, six, nine. Yeah, yeah. now listen, actually. Basketball in the city of Buffalo right now. Mm-hmm. How much are you into? I know he's entrenched. How much do you keep up with the guys that are playing right now? And you know, and if you do, who do you fool with? Well, this is how I get it. I know. But I do mean, you see them? Yo, I, don't, yo, yo. I don't really see nothing. Okay. Like, yo, um, you know, he's a higher grader. So he gave me the grade. I was like, you know, you just want to see that. He gave me the red. You know what I'm but um, I might as well have seen him up. Yeah, I tell you. Um, what are you talking about? The past couple years, I only really saw like Daniel, Noah, um, who I've actually seen and like, you know, mm-hmm. took interest with mm-hmm. him to go see. But other than that, I really haven't seen too many kids. He tell me about some kids. Um, well, I'm gonna you know, get over here. I know he got a. And so I really don't. He know. should have a list ready. But I, I know we we was talking the other day about trying to do something about that. Like you know, so. Well, you know, always a, uh, for you to. You know. Right, right, right. But I mean, Mac and Mac can tell you. Mac been telling me for years, like, come on, man, you need to do this. Let's do that. Let's do that. I, I just, I got a feeling, right? Um, I think my timing comes with my feelings. Mm-hmm. And sometimes, you know, some, sometimes you miss, sometimes, sometimes you hit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I'm, I'm a home runner. Here. I don't get on base. You know, I'm taking it out the park. I'm striking out. You striking out? That's my mentality. You need the league, you need you know, the league I'm, in both. I'm in both, right? <laughs> so I'm going after it, right? But if I don't feel something, I won't do it like how I would if I would. So if I'm cheating it. the whole process if I'm not feeling it, right? So I mean, you know, man gets at me, but it's it's something that I feel that I need to do. And, and, I, and I want to, I've always wanted to. Like I felt bad when I was coaching high school in, in Georgia. You know, I'm kind of, you know, I, I know a little well, bit. Well, you know, I share with you how I felt sitting on the mic for that year. And I tell you all the time with 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 nothing but love. I watched you learn yeah. how to coach. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I watched you learn how to coach. You didn't have that? a clue. Where is that? Silverback. You didn't have a clue when the season started. I didn't. I mean, I was done in practice. But what I'm gonna tell you, I won't tell you when I figured out you knew what you was doing. Yeah, I had to suspend my man. You you was like, you know what? This dude is putting in way too much work right here. Yeah, and you, my man, if we still go get a drink, yeah. but he gonna be playing. Oh, we might not. I didn't even bother you. <laughs> <laughs> right that point, you, know, yeah. you know, you get yours, I get mine, whatever. But um, it was, like, it was that coaching thing, man. It's, the hardest part of being a coach is if you was a player. Like, everybody thinks it's easy. Since you played, you should be able to coach. But a lot of times, you see stuff that you know you would have done, and you react to it like how you would react to it, and you can't talk to that person like that. Like you gotta put, just like being a babysitter. You gotta think about what he gonna say, you gonna say, he gonna you say. Personality. You have to know personalities, right? Which is you're more of a manager. Than the a better person. you are at that, sometimes. <laughs> now your people skills got to kick in. That's why you able to coach. I mean, I learned how to coach, but I thought I had to be an X's and O's. So my whole did, I was like, well, I already know him. But then you gotta know him how to. You know how to motivate. You learn how to get the best out of it. You know what I'm saying? That's my oh, one example. You gotta poke the bear 12 you different ways. Poke the bear 12 different ways. ways. So ways. Skip, right? <laughs> and so some of them will be different off the court and then totally different. I'm like, dude, you try to know me? Are you serious right now? All right, don't think I'm gonna take you out. I mean, we, we was about to, like, what's up after the game? I'm, I'm only two, three years older than these guys. A couple of them was older than me. So what's happening, right? But, but um, I watched you, bro. It was, I watched it was you figure that thing out, man. man. I really did. Yeah, I, I kind of dug coaching, but man, it I, didn't really. It, that, it, I didn't give me that. It didn't give you that feeling because I I hate losing, right? And 
when you coaching, I guess you got to coach more and coach more to feel like you did all you could. But I just felt like I was healthy. Because I was young. You can get there too now. Because I was, I, I still <laughs> felt like I could outplay a couple right, cats quite a few out of these there. Boys out yeah, right. So I'm right. like, oh. And so maybe if I was older, I probably appreciated it more. But I was just like, man. And then, he, then I started coaching in high school in Georgia, man. And, you know, could you train my son? Could you do this? I just felt so guilty not doing it here. I swear. You I felt guilty about that? I really do. I really have. I mean, because people ask me to train their kids and start all these organizations I, I, all the time. I, well, me, and I, and I just say this in front of your face and in front of a whole bunch of people. Yeah. We talk about you all the time, yeah. fires, those kind of things. Yeah. It's and and, and if, you, if you just, oh. Terrible this code. is who I fool with. This is, this is de facto right here. <laughs> this is who I fool with. This is oh. this is total package. Yeah, I, yeah. I just act like I'm the face of the program. Right, right. This is total package right. right here. The development and training. Right. But Kevin, I know you got a post on the talent. Right. Other than who you train. <laughs> you know, people I train ain't really that. You know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a coach out there. You always know, got to get it round up. Like, like I said, man, you know. Okay, Other man. than who you train, who you like? Man, it's, man, it's but look, look, he ain't trained so many. Now he can't. I'm talking about right now. Right now. Today. When I saw that kid, Roddy. Man, you like Roddy? It's special, man. What you like about this guy? I like this guy. From what do you, what you like about just, this guy? You know, I haven't seen a, a full game. What I've saw, what I've seen of him, just his demeanor out there, how you're under control at all times, and, and, and he gets to that basket. He gets what to that basket, man. Rodney, he the kid at uh, Luke Port. Uh, yeah, Falls. Yeah, Luke Port Fall. He transferred from Niagara Falls. Oh, like Luke Ford. Ford. No, no, like Ford. Ford. in Kansas. Okay, what's his, it's, it's, it's another it's, one of them boys who left there too, though, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but he yeah, wanted yeah. to be by himself. He yeah. wanted to be by himself. Yeah. 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 Those three boys is pretty good, man. We gonna go where he said he wanted to be by himself. <laughs> but, <laughs> he, 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 he doing all right over here by himself too. Man. Man. I ain't even gonna stick around here too much longer. He had uh, what's name was out there looking at him. Um, he had Carlin Hartman here a couple weeks ago. He got some offers on the table. He got some good Carlin at Oklahoma. Mm. He got some big time offers. He got some big time offers. He got offers already? I don't know. I ain't know he had any offers. Oklahoma, yeah. Oh, you beat Yeah, you know, you beat boy. Oh, you know, the dude from you beat Alfredy? Man, 6'3", athletic, man. He's super athletic. Got him a diamond in the rough. They don't nobody know about He's super athletic. They know about him. Yeah. No, I'm saying he tried to get him to use the Buffalo thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, he on that circuit, though. They know him here. He on that We Are One squad of Delaware or something, man. He nice, huh? Yeah, he good, man. But how you pronounce his name? Roddy? Roddy. Yeah. Roddy. Roddy what? Roddy Gale. Roddy Gale? Roddy Gales or Gales? Gales. 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 Yeah. You remember his pops if you see his pops, man. He played played in the falls. Man. He played with the Sal? He went to the trot. Oh, he went to the trot. No, 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 no. Sorry, the Sal. He went to the Sal. Yeah, yeah, I remember playing against him. He was a big, strong football player. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did the Sal's go? You know, they all close around the same time. No, Trot closed Trot right after Trot. us. Trot closed right after they beat us. Like a year or two after they beat us. Trot won the, uh... They won the it? Class C that year. No, they was D. Trot was no, D. we was C. They won, they beat us at, the, at UB. Not at UB, at uh, 87, they beat us at the all. Right before the fight. Class C, we was C, right before the fight. Uh, South Park, uh, Nichols. Hold on a second, because play, we, we, played, we played before the fight. Y'all yeah, played before us. But that's how it went. D.C. We B. was C. We was B, so we played. And then South Park, because South Park was A. was A. So y'all played before us. Y'all played before us, because we played Lafayette. Right, we was like an 11, 12 o'clock game. Yeah, we played Lafayette. <coughs> so, they, what was that? Uh, Sugar Bear and all them boys? D. D uh, Works? Um, Page? Rod Page. Rod Page? Yep. Yeah, them boys were who? They beat us in 87. I thought they was D, but they was C. I they like, was yeah. C. Okay. It was always class. So you said they closed right after that. They closed either that year or the next year. Wow. Matter of fact, I think. What was that works them senior year? Didn't, didn't we play with works? Yeah. yeah. At ECC. Yeah, he was that way. That it? Yeah. yeah. So he must have become because he's a year older than me. He 87. Uh -huh. But I don't, I don't remember they closed in 87 though. Nah. But tell me, give me what you need. You at ECC. And how you got there versus going to Genesee? It was foot. It was all foot, man. What happened, man? Hey, I told you, Papa Van Gundy came to the crib, man. Came and rang the bell, man. Like, come on up to Genesee, man. I think you'll like it. I'm like, all right, I'll come to the man. 
came through. And Papa Van Gundy. And he kept saying, he Stan and Jeff Fox. Yes. Yeah. He used to coach at Genesee yeah. Community Crazy College. That, though, Stan used to be at Turner Carroll all the time and would get on the college. He was a grad assistant at Canisius College. I never knew that. And that's how Gil left us that one year and went over to um, Canisius for a year to get his, got his master's. You know, but um, yeah, he used to always talk about my father. You know, he was, you know, he was coaches up in like, Rochester. Uh, never thought about it. Come back from New Orleans, sitting there, door to the ring, I'm Van Gundy. Come on up. Hey, I'm gonna go. Got Alvin Rich. Remember Alvin Rich? From the city. Y'all in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. He's coming. You know, he was like a top 25, top 50 kid. Yeah. I had to go. He's coming. Yeah, he coming. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay, we go up there, ball, had a good time. Me and Al cool. You know, we got a good relationship. You know, we bonded. Come back, soon as I come back, I don't know how full or new. Man, I just got a job at ECC, man. Man, please, I got Leonard coming, I got some boys from DC, man. Man, don't do this to me, man. Nah, let me think about it, man. That's funny. Man. Because he sent me away. He did the exact opposite to that's what, And that's why I really asked, because he sent you down to Cleveland. He did the exact opposite to me. That's what I'm saying. I was he to sent him to Cleveland. I was going to help him. Wow. <laughs> he went and got Jeff Warren. Hilbert too was another school. Yeah, I was going, I was going to go. Was, it was on the map. Yeah. It was on the map at that time. Yeah, mm -hmm. my man, I, I was up there. I spent the weekend up there. I, went, I had a little round. A little, you a little tour? Them, and then I was up there with hands at, at Genesee. At, J at Jamestown. Jamestown. Yeah, I was up there with hands at Jeff wow. Warren. Up there with them. Up there Jeff Warren was up there. They, they right, right. I forgot yeah, they played together. Play. Yeah. Show me a good time. I'm thinking about going there. I'm Hilbert right there. Then Hilbert on the map, me and uh, the boy McBride. We used to go at it a lot. The boy McBride scored a lot of points up there. Can't think of his first name. He scored a lot of points. He was having like 30 games. So he just left Fuller beg you into going to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just said full of bang you were going. Yeah, that was like, with his point guard since he was 15. Man. Yeah, that was, it was like loyalty, man. I was like, yo, but you, you think about it. Man. You think about it in high man, it's like, damn, I would've been right there next to Van Gundy. Right, right there. Van Gundy would've put me on you know, somebody's you know, staff. I mean, right they, they know I mean, you know, just, you know, just the, it was just crazy. Decisions, decisions. We love you, coach. We ain't blaming you, coach. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Just think about that right now, man. It was like, yo. We all geniuses in high school. <laughs> My girl wants to party all the time, party all the time, party all the time. Listen, if y'all don't know nothing about that right there, that's Eddie Murphy from the Rick James wrote the album, and Eddie Murphy sung the songs, My Girl Was a Party All the Time. And this dude right here was in the house. Mm. Please, please help us understand what kind of experience was that, actually being there during the recording session of this album. Once again, an actual type of audience you got for this show, right? So I gotta be... So we gonna there. edit this. You're okay. Get it, put no, it in. No. We gonna edit this. I'm just, I'm just, put it in there. It was um like... Once again, you wish you was a little older. Once I was a little older, <laughs> I'm always let me let we me just, just throw that out there. Just it's pretty reckless. Like the I facto wish I, answer. The facto, I wish the I facto I answer is right. So boom, we go out there. My dad, you know, dad, you yeah, we about to go do the Eddie Murphy man. Come out here and be. So I go out there, man. Dude is just what year? Is it? What year is this? Eighty six. Somewhere around there? I want to say 86. Okay. 85 or 86. I hate that because you know I remember. Everything. I know you do. That's why I asked. I thought you might remember. Yeah, Come on. Researchers over here. Um, no, no, no. They fired. We fired. We fired. So, so we anyway, fired. the we joint. Fired. So we out there. And you know it always snows worse in uh, Orchard, Park. Orchard Park in the South Towns than it does in the town. So we, we get out there. So you got out there before the snow dropped? It was yeah, we snow. got no. We couldn't have got there. Right, that's what I'm saying. So yeah. it wasn't even really... Oh, there wasn't no snow. Okay. We went out okay. there. We okay. blasted out there, you know, and Eddie, man. But, and I, I hate to sound like this, but I had already met Prince. I had already met Michael Jackson. I had already met... Face to face? Yeah, man. My, Prince used to open up for my dad and them, man. I mean, like... Did y'all hear that? And, and Come on, y'all ain't paying attention. And so, Come on. And, and so it was it was a big deal. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because you the fresh up and coming. I had just seen, you know, with the red suit on or whatever, um, delirious. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yo, but what struck me is this dude was really like genuinely funny. He was like really a funny dude. He, and he wasn't like no standoffish, don't be around me type cat. He was cool, he was real cool. So then when we get out there, 
It's a lot of grown folks stuff going on. I'm almost old enough, but not. I, I ain't got to go to bed, but you know, you can't stay in here or whatever. <laughs> yeah. My grown dad and called this rock grown folks, rock and roll. And so, <clears throat> I would go do what I do. I mean, I had every videotape, I had a pool table, I had video games. So I'm. I got stuff to do. Hey, I'm busy. I'm busy, you know. <laughs> Unlimited credits and everything. So I'm playing Pac-Man and Gallagher. And just, you know, and then I'm sitting in the studio because I used to pay attention to that stuff. I always used to be like, yo, how that? And then how this? And then the boys was cold, man. And they, it, was, it was a pleasure to watch them work, especially now that I'm older without. This was bands. This was no hit that machine. These boys had to hit that thing. Right, right, right. They played live music. Right, right. They right. had to play that thing. So it was... It was and once again, when you see the genesis of something, and then you see like so many people embrace it, it kind of make you right, right, right. You know, like I'm glad I like. I, I'm glad I was there I for was that. There right, for right, this. Right. Like y'all, y'all feel it, but y'all don't feel it like how I feel. Yeah, like I want you to feel it. Like how yeah, you, you know what I'm saying. So what, what was that really like? It was. Did, it not, was this experience you understood that you, even though you was going through it, was still another one of the experiences? Well you, you, well, you felt it. You felt it because, I mean, first and foremost, my dad there. I don't want nobody to boo my dad. My, you know, he's my people now. I don't want nobody to just be like, get off the stage. So, of course, like before every show, it's a. Like, even though you know you don't know what you're doing, like Max started for four years, but every game is like taking on his own right, right, right. personality. Oh, so, you always like. I don't call it nerves, I call it performance anxiety, right? You just want to perform. Yeah, want to perform so that pressure, this is definitely internal because I ain't scared of nobody. How could you be scared of somebody playing basketball or something that you know you're good at, right? And so you just, you be like, you know, I find myself like, yo, they, they go, man, okay, it look like they're feeling it. And then, you know, they get to warming up, they hit that little, they walk on the stage and start to grab an amp, you ever, you know, and, and then people just, yeah, people just, yeah. people just like yo, they did this yesterday in the same response, man. So that was that was crazy, man. Just well, what about being in that studio? What did Eddie? What is could, could he sing? Yeah. I mean, he sang good enough to get that off. I ain't saying he no loser or nothing, but wasn't nobody holding their ears or nothing. I but mean, was it a conversation? Did he come to do that? Or that's exactly what he came to do. He well, he had a song and he wanted it to be done because you know Rick was right. Rick was hot. Rick was on fire he was right there. Too. Right. You know how that goes, man. Listen, when you hot, yeah, everybody, everybody hot now. You got to strike. I'm funny as ever. I done did the layer. I did all this stuff, and I hear it is. I'm a this thing and thing top. Cause that's the whole thing. Yeah. Because remember yeah. when he sang? Uh, so I learned the love. <laughs> they was like, oh, this boy can sing a little bit. Yeah, and then that's how the yeah. whole thing yeah. it turned into that song. Yeah, that song. Was that a whole album? album? Album, yo. Who wrote the song? Did he write? The, who did the right though? The Rick did that. Rick did all the right. Uh, you know what? See how many records he sold, man. Eddie Murphy off that thing. I'm on, man. Did, what, did he do anything? Did he go? I don't even know if he wrote it. I know Rick I, produced it and Rick did Rick the music. The, Rick, I don't know if he wrote the words. I can't, cause that's that's right. He produced it, and I know I know for a fact he did the. But piece. that one song right there, my girl was a party old type. Sound like. Rick right. James could have could have sung that same song, yeah, and, and right. probably sold a million copies. Well, yeah, we gave that one away, probably, you know. But Eddie, yeah. probably, I bet you Eddie went platinum. That was Eddie Murphy yeah, back then. You talking about? I, I'm gonna give me a couple of dollars over here, I'm get some more. Yeah, over here. go. It's called diversifying your portfolio. Yeah. Don't get yeah. up on your high. Yeah. Seven strings in a I'm not questioning that, but I just wanted to hear about that experience. Yeah. So the experience, like, like we had. Rick. Rick wrote everything. Yeah, right? Now, Tim, you said you met Prince, Michael Jackson. Yeah. How were you when you met these people? I was probably this, this. Now, this is one of the times, not when I was traveling, but like I would meet, <coughs> go to some place. If we, if my parents would get close enough, and me and me and my sister Diane, we would, you know, fly out there or whatever and go, you know, watch the show. So I probably met Prince about maybe four or five times. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What was that? I mean, yeah. and it's crazy. I'm listening to a uh, Morris Day interview the other day. Uh -huh. And Morris Day was like, Oh, Vlad? Uh, it was something, man. He was talking and he was like, uh, Is it true that, that, that Rick was kind of jealous of a uh, 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 prince? He said, uh, No, nah, I wasn't that he was jealous. He was just that, you know, he was just like kind of outdoing it. Mm -hmm. You know, because he had all that young energy and mm -hmm. all that come through. He made it, it work too hard. And, he, and, and that's what Morris he said, Man, he said, Man, he, he said he would go first and you know, sometimes he would rock out, you know, more than uh, mm -hmm. Rick would. And Rick was the headliner. 
Yeah. So he was like, I gotta get this one. <laughs> you know? he, took, he put him on the toy. Yo, quote unquote. It was time for him to go. I mean, yeah, it, it, it ain't too big to be a part of me. Quote unquote, he said, this little MF making me work too bad. Damn, all right. That was the quote. Quote. Because this boy, this is Prince. Yeah, he, he was coming. talking about boy got on high heel boots, panties, yeah. killing it. Yeah. Damn. He's he killing it. He was coming with that thing. He was coming with man, killing it. I'm talking about like. Bikinis, man. With the trench coat man, on the chair. He's about 5'3". Because you know he can hoop, so he athletic. I mean, he just all around the stage. Man, he killing it, though. I mean, I'm watching it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not in the back for this time. You know, we done set up and everything. I'm looking. I'm like, this. I said, who is this? Because it wasn't no video. Was he Prince Roger Nelson then? He like, was. Oh, he already is, dropped this the is little, Is this even Little Corvette? That's probably before that. I this might know. be Little Corvette. I don't know the first album. I don't okay. know the first album. Okay, so I anyway. Know, I don't know the first man, album. Man, the boy rock, man, the boy, it, it was the energy, right? He just doing splits, and I'm, and, and Rick got to come out there, and they had to follow that thing. Now, you were following that thing, man. You got to. I got to get turned up. Now, mind you, my dad and them is 30. They in their 30s. They hit late. 25? Yeah, my dad and them hit late. So, they like, come on, man. It's <laughs> too, it. too much energy out there. It was Rick who wasn't because that dude... And, and, and I don't, I'm gonna tell you what my, what my eyes saw. That was nothing but admiration towards Rick for Prince, man. Prince, Prince got a lot of his presence and stage, but a lot of things, man. He really, he dug he Rick. Took he took it and ran. Yeah, he took it and ran. I, I, I ain't gonna even say he took it and ran with it. I'm gonna say he took it like how you supposed to. I mean, no question. Like why why shouldn't Kobe try to play like Mike? I mean, what's yeah, wrong Mike with Mike? Mike act like the dude. Also, did, 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 at the Prince did his little act, he went backstage. Keep an eye out. See where we're, how Rick did. To enjoy it though. Yeah, to yeah, enjoy the show. Then put some of that thing. Of course. Thing. I mean, yeah. if you ever watch the Bobby Brown concert, it's nothing but a Rick. As far as the stage yeah. rising up and the whole little get a girl on the stage, that's nothing but Rick. That's Rick right there. That's yeah, Rick you show. right there for that, I'm seeing them all. So you, what did you learn about Rick? Show? Did you see the evolution of, of his concert style, fire like his stage present from? From when you first start being around to I can I can actually tell you right now that it's a progression. Okay. Because I'm gonna go Rick, and I'm gonna go Bobby, and I'm gonna go Usher, and I'm gonna go Chris Brown. It all started with Rick. Because it was they turned it into a party. Not just a It's not it's not I'm here to I'm 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 not here to entertain, I'm here to party with you. Okay. So you're gonna be so involved, like all that when I was a crowd go see the whole day. My dad and them was the first, probably the first ones doing that. Like, you come on with us. Like, we ain't just here for you to sit right, on. Right, right. You gonna sing along. You gonna right. sing okay. along. Okay. Okay. Turn the music off. He would only do it like they'd sing the whole Mary Jane because everybody knew that song. But I've never seen that before. But now you see everybody right, cutting right. it off and doing that. New Edition do it. We used to open up for my father and them too. So I met them boys and uh, we were So where did you meet, where you meet them at? Uh, on the road. Um, where was we at? So how, how how does somebody decide to take somebody on the road? What kind of do you know? What kind of is that like? Oh, I'm taking you, or did the label mention that, or who? Oh, you mean me? I'm talking about anybody with fire. Even that. Oh no, it would have to be. I mean, of course, it would have to be your parent. Because but I'm just saying, say who would put okay. Prince in front of? Oh no, 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 you just record sale. Okay, who would put him knowing that? This stage show is gonna make him work a little. Was that in, known in the beginning, or it just ended up being where he made it? Well, him work? whoever did it was smart as hell. I don't know if nobody would want somebody to be in that type of competition, but that does breed out. That's what I'm saying. Everybody. Right, right. So I mean, I never even thought of it like that, but maybe they did. Um, but it worked out. Like Prince got his thing going, my dad and them, Rick, and them they got their thing, man. It was because it was like a battle. That's what I'm saying. But it was a battle that Prince and them wasn't even trying to engage in. You understand what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, they yeah, were yeah. just doing their thing. Like, I'm just trying to get on. Y'all already popping. So, I'm not really in competition. I'm just, let me, because I know they're coming to see, but I'm, let me give them a little something to me. No question. And, I mean, the rest of their say is history. That boy wasn't the best ever. He was not. I was a real big fan. Yeah, Prince of, is a um, talented uh, individual. Yeah, I, well, I, I, I really got turned on to it with the article in the, in the uh, Ebony magazine when all the ladies was praising me. Okay, so that's that's, that's what. <laughs> That's the joint. Sheena oh, yeah. Easton, uh, Sheila E. Oh yeah. Vanity, Apollonia. They yeah. was they was giving him a lot of love. He had a couple. Yeah, yeah. They was yeah. giving him a lot of love. 
Yeah, the boy was. Uh, so I was respecting it. And he yeah. said he played ball. So I was like, oh, and he got a little ball game. Yeah, ready. super talented. Shirts character. and blouses. Shirts and blouses. Wasn't that funny? Charlie Murphy wasn't cool for that. <laughs> Shirts and blouses. <laughs> <laughs> now, NBA. Yeah. Um, no, 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 no. Please forgive me. Summer 93. Summer 93. We in the Dodge Omni. Oh, my goodness. This dude, man. We in the Dodge Omni. Dodge you remember this story? We in the Dodge, you know the Dodge Omni. We in the Dodge Omni. This dude, is you home from Hawaii? You ain't even went to Hawaii yet. I'm on my, if it was 93, then I was. No, that was 94 then. No. 94 the summer I was with you these came, boys uh, in Atlanta. You came out of Atlanta from the game to Syracuse, wasn't it? Yeah, Syracuse. I came right there, I came right there. So this is 93, Chad. We on Expressway. Mm-mm-mm. Who's going to this story here? <laughs> if I would have dropped him off at his original location, I would have been home safely. <laughs> You know, Let me just throw that out there right now. Y'all see him safe though, right? So why he said safely, but continue. I digress. So, <clears throat> where he originally wanted to go, it didn't work out. Let's just say it didn't work out. Take me over here. Obviously. Take me over here. All right, my man Ruffin. Here we go. I, I didn't say it like that. However, right, we ended up in another story. location. That's all. That's all. All right, we ended up in another location. <laughs> now, where he originally got off at, I could have went straight down the street with home. But where I took him to, I had to get on the expressway to get home. You did not have to. You chose to. So, but we going past one of these, I'm going past one of these vida or crosswalks, and somebody throws garbage. <laughs> and how was that my fault? And I'm swerving from garbage, I tore my car up. Not tore it up, but I, I crashed. You crashed. All I'm saying is, Ruffin, if you would have went to your first location, I would have been home safely. I apologize to you for so many years after that. Because um, the Dodge Army, he wasn't running right after that. I guess you want to see Kenny, <laughs> Chips. Give it up. I'm sorry, brother. Give it up. Thank you. It took 30 years for this right here. You no, know, it took for 30 years for everybody else to see it. I've been told you that, dude. Cut it out. I've been told you, my bad. Well, let's go back to the University of Hawaii. Okay, go ahead. Now, please explain, and it's an obvious answer, but explain how you choose Hawaii or the, Oklahoma. It, it's, it's, it's not what you think. Oh, it's, okay. it's an interesting story because... Um, I was playing in, um, I'm, I'm gonna sum this up quick. I was playing in Cleveland, remember I went to, uh, I went to Tri-C school in uh, ju junior college in uh, Cleveland, Ohio. Holly Berry went there too. Um, <laughs> Tag that. <laughs> Tag. And Ben Wilders went there as well. Tag that too. Um, so, it's called Tri-C. So, we played pickup games in the summer, um, like before the season starts. So we got Ron Iver, we got Charles Oakley, we got, uh, uh, Miles McFadden, y'all remember McFadden? Yeah, Kenny! What's, uh, what's my man name? What's my man, yeah, dude. What's my man, um, Alvin Robinson? And his brother. Cause his brother Ooh, went to Cleveland. Out? Yeah, and his brother went to Cleveland State too. Mm. He went there, he went to Cleveland State. Uh, Ray Salters. Now these the runs that we playing in. And so, Coach Mackey, who was a coach at the time, he told me, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm balling, I'm gonna see. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm catching up my skills. It's like, you know, messing with Joe Brown and, you know, Vernon and all the boys in the summer and just being serious about it. So I'm cooking these boys. I'm going. I'm going at Ron Harper. I'm going at all these boys. I ain't saying I'm cooking them. I, they knew I, I was, when I walked in the gym, I got picked first, that part. So I'm. So you balling. I'm balling. That's what I'm doing. I'm balling. I ain't going to say I'm cooking nobody. I'm balling. Right? I'm balling. I'm balling. <laughs> so Coach Mackey, who was a coach, he said, you remind me of a guy named Tim Hardaway. You know, he's from Boston. He said, Tim Hardaway. Damn, not Isaiah. It's Tim Hardaway. I don't know no Tim Hardaway, Hardaway, whatever. I was like, thanks, man, whatever, man. Like, man, he don't, he don't like my job. He don't like what I go with, right? Not knowing. You know what I'm saying? He talk about Tim Hardaway, right? But I didn't know who he was. We don't have 24-hour news stations. He at UTEP yet? Is he at UTEP here? He is. Oh, yeah, no, he, no, no, he out. Yeah, in the league? Yeah, um, 90, yeah, he was in the league. Okay. He's okay. in the league. Okay. He's in the league. Because this is 90, yeah, this is 90, 90, 90 91. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So he talking about him from college. So anyway, I'm doing this, and so when I start watching the tape, you know what I'm saying, you know, I'm crazy about studying and, and filming and stuff like that, so I started trying to mimic, like, out of state. All I do is shoot, three, shoot threes here. 
I just started cooking cats, you know, and practice and whatever, whatever. So Hawaii comes, Oklahoma comes, Hawaii, Utah, same conference. I said, I can get that same exposure. I got the game, I'm confident enough to get that off. But I could do it in Hawaii instead of El Paso. In Oklahoma, they recruited me, and they recruited about four other cats. I'm the number one recruit. So that's how I chose Hawaii. University because of Hawaii. Because uh, Coach Mack. Conference. conference. That was the big, not the big West. No, it was, uh, it was the WAC. The WAC Conference. The WAC. 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 Yeah, it the Western, what is it? The Western West? Athletic uh, okay. Conference. Yeah. Hey, West. I got the game on tape against Louisville. Oh, yeah. You had 42, 21 in the first half, 21 in the second half. Now, was that Thanksgiving? What, what no, Christmas? New Year's, I right around New Year's. It was, um, it was a holiday turn. Yeah, Rainbow, uh, uh, what's it called? Rainbow Classic. That's right before New Year's. I took that tape back to New York. Sit down, everybody. Yeah, <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Watch this tape right here. You had 21 in the first half, 21 in the second half. Yeah. 42. Gave DeWan Wheaton all he could have. I gave him some smoke. He gave all the smoke. I, I remember that smoke. game. And you know, I only had, I was playing with half an arm, too. What you mean? I had nerve damage. If you ever watched that tape, all my shots was like this. I, was, I kept shooting. I had to bring it from here because I couldn't extend. I couldn't go here, so I was shooting like this. You hear that? He was 10 for 12 from three with nerve damage. I had, man, I had, I had acupuncture and all that. 10 for 12 from three with nerve damage. You hear that? Yeah, and I shouldn't have shot the last one. I could have did 10 for 10, but it was at the end, and I kind of jacked that Come on, joint. Look, I had everybody at SUNY Purchase on the couch. Sit on down. Mm -hmm. You man, man, was Mace there? Yeah, make sure. Man, bet that. Did you get love from a boy? I did. Robin, Trevor, Robin! Mm -hmm. He watched the tape, too. Yeah. <laughs> he watched the tape, too. And this, that kid ended up playing at Nazareth. Yeah. I coached against him. I remember that. He, he yeah. had to play that now. This is a white kid that went to uh, one of the real ritzy schools near Purchase College. And I said, all we talk about roughing. All we talk about roughing. He ended up, his dad had tickets. He was season ticket holder for the Knicks. And he was down close to a game. And Ruffin said he was ignoring him. Ignoring him. Ignoring him. He said, I know Kenny Ferguson. That was it. <laughs> Hold on, man. Well, man. <laughs> Hold on, man. Yeah. Hold on, man. I wish I had a wristband or something I'd have gave it to him. Listen. We wasn't going like that with the bands and stuff. Did and you ain't giving me no did he ask me something? Yeah, I, would, I wasn't gonna give him my sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't doing that back then, man. Come on, dude. I'm getting you about two or three out of here, man. Ain't you wasn't shipping sneakers like out that back then, man. I got to we on the road trip, man. Plus I like these. Mm -hmm. And we got we had custom fit sneakers then. So it was like a soul. Oh, okay, okay. And it wasn't like no, it wasn't no, it wasn't no regular right, right. Amazon. If I get these up, these will be here by the. No. He got me playing New Jersey tomorrow. I, I need, need these. these. <laughs> so you couldn't get the shoes, my bad. Yeah, my bad too. You know, not nowadays they be having 15 pairs of sneakers and people carrying them or whatever. But, um, yeah, I remember that. That was funny. Tell man. me your experience in the league. Is it, uh, Trevor Ruffin played in the league two years, three years? Uh, two and a half. Two and a half years. I'm finally the right age, too. I ain't, ain't got to say I wish I was older. You old enough. I got there with my you're dad now. <laughs> yeah, I'm old enough. Nah, now. at this time, now I'm old you're old enough. Yeah, I'm old oh enough now. Goodness. Correct. Now, let's just, oh, wait. Okay. All right. This is not a PG program anymore. Okay. Okay? Let's get that clear from I here. I got a PG version for you. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I don't want that one. All right. <laughs> I don't want that one. Grind. Oh my goodness. What you want? Come on, man. What you mean? Okay. All right, go ahead. What, what, what is you not drafted, you wear at rookie camp? What, what, what is, give me that and then go for me. Okay, so um, I actually showed up in the, um, in the pre draft camp. The okay. one that they be showing up in Chicago. Chicago. Yeah, I, okay. I actually killed that. Okay. Charlie yeah, Ward like, got busy. And so. I thought I was supposed to get I was supposed to get drafted by the Miami Heat uh, with the, like 42nd, 43rd pick, second round though. Alvin Gentry called me. We at P House. We, you know I mean? I'm at 813. Me and Jason Slaughter and uh and uh Bill Tevin. Kev, Kev Briggs. So we sit there, the phone ringing off the hook, it's my agent. It's it's Miami and somebody else was gonna take me to like like 30 something. But they did. I mean, this this cat said he still ain't played for him. Like they took they took these dudes rights instead of taking me or whatever. But anyway, you know I haven't watched the draft since. 
since 94, 95. Yeah, I'm tight, man. I'm tight, because I'm like, man, I saw some of these dudes in this camp, man. Like, as much as I love Charlie Ward, if he went first round, come on, man. I mean, we played on the same team. You know what I'm saying? Did you make him look good? You got him drafted? Me and Charlie Ward was balling, dog. We, man, we, we, they played us together, too, the whole time. So these six foot guys, man, you know, we both football players. Ain't no posting or nothing going on. Y'all taking care of that. Y'all taking care of that. Y'all taking care of that. Yeah, so y'all come down if you, you want, want to. Put your back Looking forward in the back. back. <laughs> That's all in your back. <laughs> so anyway, we hooping. And uh, so I'm like, I, I watched that. And as uh, soon as the draft is over. Jerry, so who brings you in? Jerry West calls me. Okay, okay. The, late, the, the, logo, the logo calls me. Directly. Directly. Who called me? Call, call, call Jerry West. West. Tag that too. Call the 13, <laughs> man. It was like, uh, um, I know you're disappointed, but I want you to come out here to LA to um, participate in this little um, assembly. It was assembly. It was in Irvine. The one that's in Vegas now is in Irvine. There's some more irony behind that story too. So my agent, he, he takes care of Warner Gear. He takes care of all the uh, you know particulars, whatever. Got me a little stipend and uh, stuff like that. So me and uh, your boy, me and Jay, me and Jay ride getting up every morning, running shoot six o'clock in the morning. Is it <laughs> Every morning, six o'clock. Me and Jay get up. I ain't gonna say what nobody else is doing. Boys know what they're doing. <laughs> but they <laughs> wasn't going to that. No, they wasn't getting that. You know, 813 had about two trains a day. Boy, you missed the first one, you, you bite, you're bound to get on the second one. <laughs> <laughs> we, <laughs> So we uh we when we getting up man I'm getting money man me and Jay rebounding for me man just, man we running we man Jay was there for me I never forget that my man Jay Rap so man turn I mean, turn <laughs> so boom I go out to L A and uh it's it's just crazy how stuff stuff lined up Anthony it was me Anthony Peeler Doug Christie Pig Miller. My man used to play, I forget my man's my guy to respect the kids. Anyway, you know, they was going to have a team on around them, of course. And Anthony Peel and Doug Christian, they was going Anthony Peel, something happened in his family. Something happened in Doug Christie's family. All these boys is gone. Time is shine. I wound up getting MVP of that job. Kept it. Guaranteed contract. As soon as, as soon as something leaves. Nah, that was like unheard of then. Like, I had never played the game. I had money whether I made the team or not. Because I'm undrafted. So, I go to LA. I actually do okay in training camp. But the only thing I regret doing about that is I tried to transition into a pure point guy. And that was never my deal. I, you know. Versus some, being a score, it just left. Well, 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 you know, I, I got to. It's, it's all about the labeling, right? Because if somebody call you a, it's a difference, they call you a scoring point as opposed to an undersized two. And everything you do wrong is so magnified. If you were scoring point, all right, that was just a bad turnover. If you was an a, a, a undersized two guy, he could never play the point. It's all about the labeling, right? So you had to fight that. And I played two in, in, uh, in Hawaii. Yeah, my coach said I can't have my point guy scoring 20 points a game. That's what he told me. So he put me in two. <clears throat> I actually talked about he never coached a player like me before, and you know, so I, I you know, I, I helped him out and he helped me out, you know. Because after that, you see what Anthony Carter went there and he let him do what he wanted to do, and he would have played in the league about 13 years, so you know. Then he wasn't nowhere near yet. Yeah, but he could ball though. Anthony see, Carter was old. He made a, he made himself an NBA base. Oh no, that boy could. Yeah, he, he was tough as hell. He like he liked the. the he was a pit bull out like there. Like the Patrick Beverly type. Right, right, right. right. At that time, right. you know, what? whatever. Because Patrick Beverly was like, he ready to, you know, get it in. Yeah, it's outside like Chicago every day. I mean, you know, <laughs> some boys in the belt that want to get in every day, but they don't carry with them like that. No, I, can like appreciate. that. I can appreciate that, right? <laughs> so then, by boom, we, then I, um, I'm at the hotel. They, they put me on waivers because it was a trade pending that we had to go through, so I'm in. I'm in LA at the Sheridan at the airport. I'm sitting, I'm like, man, I'm going to the crib. They're like, yo, I'm gonna go home for a couple days, you know, blow off some singers. I'm sick, I'm sick of this treadmill, I'm just sick of this hotel, I'm gonna go to the crib. And they was like, alright. So they they played the Knicks that day and I flew home. 
get to the crib, call uh, call um, call uh, my peoples, Lisa Simmons. I called Lisa, I was like, yo, that car, I'm ready to pick that car up. Uh, you got to go to Seattle. I said, what? The agent just called. As soon as you get here, you got to call your agent. Call, I, I come back, catch a cab from the airport, get to the joint. Hey, uh, you got to go to Seattle. I thought you were in L.A. I was like, no, I'm in Buffalo. Well, you got to go to Seattle right now. Right now, you got to go to Seattle. I was like, man, I ain't going nowhere. I can't go tomorrow? He's like, no, but they play tomorrow. Oh. Back on the plane. Fly. How long were you in Buffalo? Right there. How long were you at that touchdown? 45 down? minutes tops. <laughs> wow. I got to get right back on the plane. They already Fly had you a Seattle. ticket? Yeah. Or yeah, it was, it was already yeah. set up? Yep. Yeah. Oh, Brian, I talked to Brian Colangelo on the phone. Brian Colangelo. Tag that one too. Because <laughs> his, his father was going right. to do the right. But he was, um, I don't want to say he was a GM or something like that. He, he, I talked to him. So he was like, yeah, do we want you out here? Because I, I had actually played well against them in uh, the summer league. KJ, KJ, he was Phoenix, right? With yeah, right, KJ okay. got hurt. Uh, uh, Danny Ainge got hurt. And so they was, you know, okay, well, he on waivers. Man, we'll bring them out here. So bring me out here. Mind you, boom, I take this flight all the way from here. And then I got to go all the way back over here. And then we play the glove the next day. <laughs> we play Give me that. What Man. was you thinking? I mean, what, 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 give me quickly. What was the, the okay, I'm in Seattle. Yeah. I got a game. What time did you get to? I got a game. I got what did you? Two in the morning. So what did you have to go when you got to? You went right to the hotel? Right you to had the to hotel. Do, right to the hotel. Somebody there, wait, I mean, fires like paperwork, no, contract, no. sign, anything. What was no, I did that in the morning. I don't, I don't have to sign nothing. Okay. So I'm about to play for insurance purposes. Okay. So okay. I, I just, I got to the hotel. You know, I had traveled a lot, so I went to the room, got my key. Got a wake-up call at, what we got up at about? Because the time difference is still been right, right, right now. Okay, because so you ain't, you're you on still, this side. Right, 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 right. I'm still on this side of the time, so right. I'm still kind of good this way. So we get up in the morning, I get up in the morning, get on the bus, sign my contract, uh, go over a couple plays with Coach Westfall on the bus. Uh, I had 50 and 40. 50 was a screen with the center, 40 was a pick and roll with the, with the four, man. That's the only two players I knew. So I, I didn't think I was going to play. So I, um, me and uh, Antonio, uh, my man Bean Paul, Antonio uh, Lang. With the yeah, rookie there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we had remember, remembered each other from the camp. Me and Wesley Person on the team. Aaron Swanson, he was a pretty good player too. Went to Auburn with, uh, with Wesley. So. I'm sitting on the bench, man. I ate me a Snickers bar. On the sure. bench? No, oh, before the bench. That was that was like sort of, you know, I don't know. You would know, and you know how superstitious athletes is. So, but I didn't think I was gonna play. It was like rough. I said, man. So I didn't even have no butterflies. Plus, I had already played preseason against Seattle, or whatever. And so I was, but I'm like, damn, about to play. I didn't think I was gonna play. This is still the first quarter, second quarter. This is the, the, this the, the first. Sub I can tell you first exactly quarter. how West falls, and I tried to kind of emulate that a little bit. His, his sub, sub pattern was two minutes ago in the first quarter, two minutes left in the um, first quarter, and then if you rocking, you rock it. But he let the starter play eight minutes or uh, or ten minutes, and then you get pinning after that, and then you got the timeout, and then whatever, whatever. Because if that two minutes you BS in, then it started back in, which was Elliot Perry, who was actually ball. And I got in, man. I had eight points in like two minutes. And he still sat. I wound up having 17 in like five, man, in like 12 minutes. That was my first game, first uh, real game. So what was what was that whole year like? Oh, I cruise on that team? Yeah, but he was hurt too. So I get back, then we play the Clippers. Uh, the next night, actually, boom, 15 and 5 in about 11 minutes. So, boom, now I go back to, now we go back to Phoenix. So, I go back to the hotel. This cat, Kenneth Creer, never forget him because he wind up being Janet Jackson uh, agent. Um, he came to me, uh, met me at the hotel. But, see, I'm, I'm not one of those green cats because I've been out there with my father. I'm like, Okay, you want to show me a good time, that's on him, ain't nothing going to happen. But right. job, you know, I'm, I pause and jump. <clears throat> so he take me to this spot called uh, 
Mooses. No, nah, not Mooses. Ah, uh, forget this joint. This was me and my man's spot. Anyway, we go to this spot. And we come in there. And it's Chuck, Mike, because this is where Mike was playing baseball. David Falk. What's my man name? He used to play wide receiver for the uh, Cardinals, Matt. Uh -huh. No, no, no. For the Cardinals. He used to play both. Roy Green. Not Roy. Remember, he used to play both ways for the Cardinals back in the day when they was in St. Louis? But he wind up. Anyway, Green. That was his last, last name. Last name was Green. It was Green. I don't know if it was Roy Green or whatever. But he had 25 and he was switched to 86. Anyway, so I come in the joint and Chuck, Chuck waved me over there. I guess he recognized me from TV because I never met him. He brings me over there. I meet Mike. He was, uh, he was Chuck was like, yeah, this is the little guy I was telling you about. He's like, oh, this little shoot up, man. You better quit shooting up. I said, this, this is what Mike's first words to me. So I'm like, all right, damn, damn, I thought I was balling, but whatever. <laughs> so we sitting there, man. We just hanging out. We kicking the man. I'm like, that kind of topped the whole Prince and Eddie Murphy and other thing. You know? with Mike, right? Mike and Chuck. I didn't even know Chuck. Charles, I didn't know him either. I'm just sitting there like, yo, and and then everything is like roped off, and it's just like, man, I'm like, yeah, I'm in the league, yo. This ain't my father or nothing. I did this, you know. So it was kind of that was that was kind of special. But Chuck is a real good dude, man. He took me to uh, I went, I chilled in the Supreme Court building all day one day, talking to uh, Judge Tom, Clarence Thomas. I know a lot of people might be bad at me, so don't hashtag that. You know what? So we might, so. You might, I mean, you we know. Might. So was he like, like as an individual? Man, though? he was cooler than a fan, man. Like, this is, I can honestly say, because I've always been into, like, politics. My dad used to watch C-SPAN all the time. But, you know, that's when they just used to show the votes or whatever. But that's when it was kind of cordial politics, unlike it is now. I don't want to get into politics. Right, right, you know, right, right. However you vote is how you vote. But I, I, still, I don't believe it's more than one right. I plenty believe ways it's getting that cat, huh? No, it's only one right. It's plenty ways to to, to to opinionate something, but it's only one right. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's green, man. We ain't dispute that. But, you know, <laughs> it's not the green that I'm used to, man. I don't think my other green, you know, even anybody can spend what they want, like, but that's green. Like, don't, I don't want to hear, don't, I don't want to hear all that. Anyway, but this one it was cordial, so we kicking it. About Democrats and Republicans, you know, um, my new pack, my new tax bracket had me, you know, want to reconsider some things. <laughs> you about to go Republican? I mean, they had me want to consider some things. I mean, why? Who would vote against their interests, right? So, you know, you're just sitting there like, well, this who vote against their interests? Yeah, who does that, right? So I'm, I'm not saying that. Not I nobody did. with money, though. No, I'm not saying that. I did, but I'm like, I fall into nobody this, with money. I fall into this tax bracket now, so I'm gonna see what the chief had to say. Oh, the Armstrong Williams, you remember him? The bald head conservative dude, he, he nah, was drunk. Nah, nah. No, he's not dead, but he got a show on right now. Anyway, he's real conservative, dude, real conservative. Anyway. Black dude, the bald head. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. was there with us, too. What are you talking about? Oh, he I'm, with Clint. He with the judge. You know, so we just in there, we kicking it, man. He talking, and you tell me about what the... Now, where was you at with the judge? In what city state? D.C. I'm at the Supreme Court building in, in D.C. I'm in so that Charles, building. So Charles had a meeting with him? Or, or yeah, he invited Charles to lunch. And Chuck was like, man, you want to go to lunch? Man, we're going to go to... I said, man, come on. Wow. Come on, let's do it. That was your only time meeting with Mike, though? Is your only sit down? No, I mean, Mike didn't... We didn't play pool together. We ate at Chuck house before. I mean, he was there. Well, I went to a couple games. He was funny when he struck out, boy. He was a baseball game. Yeah, we took a couple games. He, he was, was playing. He right. was playing. That's when he was playing in the minor league joint. The year that he right, 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 right. Wow. So we go there and sit in the dugout with him. Me, him, um, Chris Berman. Uh, what's my man Harry? My, uh, what's my man? He from the uh, reporter from um, from Philly, but he was shut boy. Yeah, man. But the boys, we sitting out there, man. You know they all coming to the joint. And man, that boy get a hit. He want to kick, and that boy struck out. That boy way now, he ain't got nothing to say to nobody. I'm like, Mike, that boy, man, he was good. But, but everybody competitive. You know, that's kind of a, uh, I think that you, that word is overblown. Like, everybody, like, who has the will? They're like, my man, Mac, you think Mac, Mike want to win more than Mac or me? <laughs> right. It's just so happened that they win, so they it talk looks, about right. it. It's just like they, they just wanted more. Yeah, no, wanted more. You, you can just can play better than him. That's what it is. It ain't about who wanted more, you know? But um, 
Yeah, so then, man, and then, you know, I just... Now, now how you get, you get to Philly? What was the... How you get to Philly? Was, was I, that a trade, or was that a... No. What was the... One, one like, I, I don't deal with regrets, but I can definitely admit when I made a mistake. It was a year after I got drafted by Vancouver. You know me and you on the phone. Yeah, I got drafted. Now, <laughs> what you, I, you I remember, remember you? Yeah, we talked, I remember. And you gave me some, some advice. <laughs> and you said, nah, man. <laughs> yeah, because it was a strike. <laughs> and, 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 and what the people really don't know is I had ran through a lot, most of my money. And my agent was, a, he had the plug over the seas. They were threatening with a strike, though. Uh, 95, 90, 90, 95, 95, 96, 96. exactly. So I, uh, Stu Jackson called me at my grandmother's house on Heaven. He's like, yeah, I could offer you. We got a three-year deal for you, blah, blah, this. But the numbers that you're going to get over there, man, I can't, I can't. I can't touch you know, that? I can't touch that. And uh, I was like, man, I'm, I was thinking so short-sighted, man. I was thinking, because, I mean, I can leverage a, a three-year contract. Right, right. If I just need a couple of dollars. Put it yeah, work. yo, dude, I need, yeah, whatever. You know, I can borrow go to a bank and anything, but I was just thinking like, ah, I don't want to owe nobody. They told me as soon as I get off the plane, I get 150 150000 and all I got to do is sign my name and pass a physical in, and I'm used to this, and I'm used to that, and I'm play over there, but 35000 a month, I'm like, um, I'm hollering. I shouldn't have went. Anyway, I get out there, I'm balling. It's me and Dean Garrett. Remember Dean Garrett? He used to play for long. So we out there hooping. And then they changed coaches. We nine and three, and they changed coaches like we was having a bad season. Well, it was three and nine. Now, guess who on my team? Peja Stoyakovich from um, Sacramento. Yeah. He was a young boy. I'm telling you, that boy used to have ups, too. We was playing in the preseason game. The man jumped, I swear to God, his whole calf fell down here. That's why he's still kind of limping. I'm like, he was limping when he was shooting. Yeah, he tore his calf up. So boom, me and the coach don't get along. He want me to do guy. Yeah, so once again, he tries to turn me to a pure point. I'm like, I ain't never playing against my, once again, I'm not betting against my interest. I'm not a pure point guy. And he ain't coming, he ain't, I ain't come out here for that. Dude, I get buckets, man. And I'm sure gonna get buckets in Europe, are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> you should kidding me right now? <laughs> come on, dude. This is what I do. This is huh? what I do. This is why he brought me here, so I, we never got it, we never got it in, so they had this break for the European team for practice, you know, and it was like a week, maybe a week and a half. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to the crib. You fool, back. No, he told me I couldn't go. The coach did. I said, dude, now you know when you play on the good teams in Greek, like your whole damn team is on the national team. So it's only like three, three months of practice. I'm like, dude, I'm not practicing. I'm going home. You must stay. You must practice. All right. Rough it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it Rough it. Yeah. yeah, so I, man. <laughs> That's all I can get you with. Rough it. Man, who you talking to, man? Like, I'm, I mean, dog, I'm, you don't tell me where I can go. Right when was could he have suggested maybe? I mean, he he would have sound better making a suggestion. I might only went for three days instead of a week. But he he was strongly the man, he strongly suggested that. Did you stay here? And I was like, nah, it work out for you. Nah, because actually we had like three days off. I'm talking about the three days. I was just gonna go to the crib. No, you must stay in Europe because Dean and a couple of his homies they went to Paris. I'm like, I don't want to go to Paris. I'm not going to Paris. I'm going home. I have three days off. You cannot tell me where I can go. Hold on. No, ain't nothing in the contract to say you can tell me. I got to go read my paper. Yeah, I had to read my paper. So boom. I go. I go home. I stay for a week. No, now I miss a couple practices. I'm like, man, whatever. So now I get back. They done replaced me with uh, this boy, Lawrence. Thunderbird. Oh, big Ohio State. They went big. They went big. Ohio State. They went big. So I'm like, hey, well, I got, I got about, about 250. I'm all right. I'm good for another year. Whatever. I chill. Have a good time. Whatever. 
I'm gonna be smarter this year, though. <laughs> oh, that's what you said. That's what I was. I really was. I really, really was. I get back to the crib. I'm going. I'm, I'm working out with Vern. You know, I got to go get Vern and get tight. Philly car. Season started already. Or yeah, it was about about ten games in. Ten, about ten games in. Yeah. Ten games, ten to twelve games. Like November. And how was that experience being in Philly? Oh man, you know it was cool. You know they they did some rough fans, man. You know, um, <laughs> no seriously, man, like brutally rough. But you know, Luke, Luke is Luke, Luke was a good coach. You know he, you know he's, he he coached me, but he point guard. Once again, the point guard thing. Once again, the label I had to get over the label. Mo Cheeks, man, was there. Will Be Free was there. They was, uh, they was assistants? Yeah, well, Will Be Free was a strength and conditioning coach. Mo was there. My man Ron, uh, what's Ron's last name? The dude that's sitting next to Steve Kerr right now. That was the coach's staff. The dude, Rob, uh, Steve. Black dude? No, the white dude. Ron, Ron was it. I think I that's the name. He the boy, he right with the glasses. He the defensive. He the defensive okay, he the coach for, for and, the got, and the other assistant coach was Tom Thibodeau. He was a coach too. He was the other assistant coach. So your Philly experience, as far as on the floor, was cool. As far as like living in Philly, or? I mean, Philly they good people. It's just they passionate about their fans, and you know, the older you get, it'd be like, come on, man. It's like I'm a boo to Josh Allen if I, you know, if he do something I don't like, but I ain't going. When I see man, you know, what's up, man? You know, keep doing oh, they, what you're doing. They still boo it up. No, no, they don't. Oh, okay, but they go hard on that corner, on that field. I had a couple words with some spectators, and I saw them, and I was like, yo, man, I don't know where you from. But that you were saying to me, like, what's happening? <laughs> like, I didn't see you. I mean, yeah, because they had a little club up there, and I just, this is happenstance, it's crazy. I just, I'm like, yo, this is a tour. Because they're in the front row. Like, dude, I'm looking at you. I'm at the free throw line. They pop and jump. All day. I had probably had. I ain't having my best game. But still, you don't talk to nobody like that. Look, this is what made me think about you at Southern. <laughs> you did that, you man? No, no, I'm talking about at Southern, you oh, no. dealing with uh, Avery Johnson. Was Avery Johnson when you was there? He wasn't there. He wasn't there yet? He was gone already? It was in the summertime. Okay, now, what happened with Southern and how you ended up back at ECC? <laughs> man, here we go. It was just mine. It was me and the coach ain't see eye to eye a lot. Oh, my bad. Somebody. How did you get to Southern? What was the recruit? Was a recruit? What was the recruit process for Southern? Well, what it was with the Southern uh, thing, Coach McLendon. Rest in peace, the legend. Yes, I met him before. That was my father's man. And uh, he come up, you know, he used to hear me, I heard about you play basketball. I want you to come up to this camp, man. Let me see how you look. I'm going to the camp. <clears throat> it's in the Adirondacks. The Dallas Mavericks is doing the camp. And um, at that time, it was Norm Sanju. He was there, and Pat Williams was the GM, I want to say. Yeah, in fact, he was in Philly. He was in Philly, Pat Williams, the GM. Orlando. He was free from Orlando. He from Orlando. Well, he started off in, with the Dallas Mavericks. Okay. So we down there, put me out there. So I'm looking at the competition. I'm like, oh, man. I'm saying, these boys hate no weird, man. So, hey, I'm just going to go out here and ball. Mm -hmm. First day I'm out there, play. Man, easy, dirty, couple of dimes, boys missing. Yeah. Hey, man, come up to me, man. You really can play. I said, man, listen, man, I'm going to do another number. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> first time meeting him and he going to the camp. And next night out, another 30, dimes and all that. Now, this time, Roy Tarpey there now. Now, they got a Dallas Maverick, Tarpey there. Um, uh, what's the other dude? White guy, that Davis was the guard. Swin Nader, mm. uh, Roy Tarpey, and... Um, Mark Davis. What's the one? Mark Davis. Derek Harper. Yeah, they all there. So they playing at night. So they invite me to come watch these boys play at night. So I'm like, damn, I want to get in some of this. You know, they ain't let me get in. But I'm watching Roy Tarpey and all that, do all this. You know, that's a big insurance risk, man. They big insurance. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now I'm like, OK. That's some issues right there. Mm -hmm. so, Liabilities. So, 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 so uh, Ben Yenio was like, hey, listen, man. I got a guy down here at Southern University, man. Man, he'll take you right now, man. I'm just going to send him to I know you can play down there. You can do real well. Let's see what happens. So I'm like, well, all right, whatever. We'll see what happens. I'm thinking. I would go to Niagara. I thought Niagara was gonna mess with me because they were taking care of me the whole uh, my whole senior year. My wrist is messed up. I would go up there and get waxed and all that, mm. treatments and all that. At the last minute, they pulled the plug on it. So 
So hey, I'm out here to Southern University. Things ain't work out down there like I, I, I thought they would, you know, but uh, came back here, and, you know, that's, that was one of my first mistakes. Coming back? Coming back here. Cause you, now what do you think, I mean, just, you know, talking about it, coming back here or going somewhere else, or you felt you should have just stuck it out right there? I could have stuck it out at other schools that wanted me to stay down in that area, but it was just like, man, let me come on home, man, you know, comfort zone and things like that, and then other situations came to me, you know, like the Van Gundy thing. I should probably would have did that. It may have been some, you know, it may be some different. You know, so, wow. You know, you live and you learn, man. You know, you go through certain things and, you know. Like now, now, what do you think about, now, and then just, just really taking advantage of the opportunity with both of y'all here, with guys having opportunities and not truly assessing them and making a good decision, you know, just really speak to that and really give me some encouragement about really, you know, stepping outside your comfort zone. Is that something y'all willing to, you know, just feel like I didn't want to do that, so I'd rather just stay here versus learning how to be uncomfortable? Well, it's, it's something that you have to do, right? Because you can't expect extraordinary things by doing, preparing yourself regularly, right? So you have to, if you want to do something you've never done, you got to go places you never did, you know, never, never been, been, or, or you know, put yourself in certain situations. Right. But I think, a lot of, if I got any advice to give to the, uh, the young cats or whatever's listening, is to form habits. When you form habits, your choices don't become choices, they become a bitch. It's just, you just say that again, please doing. say that again. When you form habits, your choices don't become choices, they become habitual. So they just, just like, like Muscle breathing. Memory, like like, like breathing. Second nature. Like second nature, right? So if you form the right habits with anything you do, right? And it's, it's not necessarily sports related right, or, right, right. or anything related, but it's all related. Because if you do this, like 20, you do something for 21 days, it becomes habitual. Whether it's good or bad, right? Right, right. But the 21 days is the marker where your body or, or your brain starts to prepare itself to do this. So if you, pref you know, you form these habits that everybody thinks has to be no, I, I made a bad choice, you know what I mean? Because I had some bad <clears throat> habits, is why I made bad, bad choices. choices. You know what I'm saying? What I'm no saying? Question. Them habits lead. lead to a bad choice, right? But if you got good habits, even though you might not want to do it, because, I mean, your inconvenience could turn into opportunity at any second. Like, I don't feel like doing that, but your habits will get you a man, let me just go ahead and take this call. Let me just go ahead and do this, man. I don't feel like it, but you will bitch me. This is what you do. When you hear something, you get up and do it. So that's what happens. So I just, I just say, man, try to form habits instead of, um, don't be so worried about your choices. Just be worried about whether you're prepared for whatever choice you make, and that would be a habit, good or bad. That's beautiful, Kevin. Your decision, <laughs> and I really want you to talk about real quickly about the training and the development that you do with these boys around here. That's training the town. And the love, I, I know you got love, but just really talk to it. How did you get into that? As far as really decide you want to get into, you know, really training and developing training the place. Just, just uh, me not wanting a kid to, to stop, stop their progress in, in, in the athletics and basketball, because I did that. You know, and I said, any kid come by me, come through me, and have the skill level, I'm not gonna let you just throw that away because I did that. Trey kept working out, kept working out, kept working out. I'm doing other stuff. I'm gonna get back into it. That's what I'm telling myself, but I never did. So you know, anybody that come through me, I wanna develop them. I wanna get them to a certain level and bring out the best, you know, the best in them, you know? And um, I see the skill set. Hey, you that side, down the ball. I see you, you know, you can't handle, you go work, you go work on that, you get some low post move, you go do this, we go do that. I just want to get the kid to school. And they can do the rest. You know, once you get a kid to that to the to school, but you put them habits into them before they get there, and now you you know you got something to work with, you know. So, you know, we got we got a lot of talent around here. So, you know, we just gonna keep building on what I'm doing and hopefully these kids just stay the course and you know, let's we'll see what happens. But it's a lot, it is a lot of good talent around here. And the reason why I act as far as who you like and stuff like that is because it's different than it was when I first moved back to Buffalo in 2011. As far as the fifth and sixth grade, the seventh and eighth grade that's around here right now, and, and quite a few of the high school boys, 
they are really developing. I, I'm not saying all of them has good trainers, but you can see some skills. You can see some kids that really want to learn how to play basketball. And that hasn't always been the case. And I, and me and this dude used to go back and forth. When I first came back to Buffalo, they were trying to tell me we got to wait for the football players to play basketball. That didn't make any sense to me. Do it. Am I tripping with that? They're doing that everywhere. We're doing it in Georgia. So they really consider the best basketball players are the football players? Well, no, I didn't say that. <laughs> we had to wait for the football team to be done before they came over. Oh, because it was some players? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. no, no. The best was always the best. Because they felt that these guys are around here. I'm just talking about this Buffalo. Oh, no, no, the best players are the football players. You can't keep putting the basketball down and keep telling me you better than the guy that don't ever put that basketball down. <laughs> You're not going to be better than him. It's going to be one summer. He's going to catch you. Kind of a culture shock, man. Right? <laughs> I'm serious right now. <laughs> but it was just, you know, so we're going to wrap this thing up. We've been here for quite a while. This is going to be chopped up so nicely. I would like to thank everybody. I need you to keep this in there. Shout out to my man, Kabibble. Leave that on there. Leave that on there. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Now we're gonna wrap this thing up. I like to welcome, excuse me, I like to thank my two guests here. Uh, beautiful interview, Trevor Ruffin, Kevin McCarley. Uh, please stay tuned for the next episode of uh, Exposure is Everything, brought to you by Total Package Sports. Also, the producer, David Blackbird. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>